do 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 oh look i did it automatically this time yay okay i think i have everything good and tippy top shape and ready to go hello everybody my name is wheezy blonde welcome to wrestlemania week i hope you all have had a fabulous day fabulous fabulous day where is the screen there we go sorry just getting a couple things set up here rammy thank you for the resub dude brandon you subscribed with prime before i even went live thank you so much sorry you missed today's instagram live are oh, you good all good all good hi everybody king crag king crag <laughs> the crag king crab javi dom cowboy andrellis sam hi buddy and master nerd what's up greg corbin moose knuckle zoo sludge everybody over on the tube how the hell are you how's everybody doing how's your day it's nice to see you guys too i mean see your names huh Feels like you've been watching streams from Philly all day long. What kind of streams have you been watching? I've been at work all day and then I had to go to the gym. So my day was a little different. I fucked up. What was that? Oh, Red Jedi Knight, thank you for the recent Happy seven month subversary. Happy Friday night. Happy WrestleMania 40 weekend. JR 757. Thank you for that recent Happy four month subversary. I'm eating a cheese stick. Getting some sustenance in after my workout. You know, what's up, tech man? My nails look amazing. Oh my god, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Will I be streaming Hall of Fame? Yes, I will. Um, yeah, I didn't, I didn't think to put that in the YouTube title. I probably should have. Sorry, guys. Did you hear about the earthquake in Jersey? Yes, I did. Mm-hmm. Kettles in Philly? Oh my god. So many of you were there. Mysterious Flame, thank you for the resub. Happy two month subversary. Poor NXT starts at 11 a.m. Mm hmm, I ain't doing that. Yoshi! Am I. Are my eyes deceiving me? Are my eyes deceiving me? Is that the Yoshi? Is it the Yoshi? Where have you been? Where have you been? Sir, how have you been? Are you okay? Is everything all right? I hope you've been fine. What's going to happen tonight? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Yoshi, are you still a mod for Santi? <laughs> you left California at five. Believe your flight to Denver. I'm, so, uh, I'm not gonna. It's not about a seizure. Flying anymore is just like the bane of my fucking existence. There's always something crazy that happens or something that goes wrong. Stephen Green, what's up, man? Hall of Fame lasting until midnight? Yeah, probably. It's okay. I wasn't prepared. That's why I'm in. That's literally why I'm in my pajamas. I went and took a shower. Your girl took a shower, got in her pajamas. Yeah. You got no makeup tonight. This is this is my Clark Kent era. All right, this is Clark Kent era. All right, the glasses come off. I can't see shit, but I'm wheezy. All right, no glasses, wheezy. Wow, I'm blind. Yes, with the glasses i'm wait i'm i'm clark i'm wait i'm alexis that's my name <laughs> that's what it is derby zen thank you for that shout out as always i appreciate you so much king crab thank you for gifting that sub gray gib thank you for the resub happy seven month subversary it's 754 <laughs> it's 754 hi nate it is mania weekend I did forget my name for a second. I have a lot of names, okay? Let's, to to be fair, cut me some slack, because I have a lot of names. <laughs> Why are Menta, thank you for the sub. First time subscriber, thank you so much for that. I appreciate you, welcome to the blonde line. That got us to level two of our hype train that I didn't even mention was going on. <laughs> There's just so much happening tonight. It was your grandpa's 90th birthday. Happy 90th birthday, grandpa. That's amazing. I know WrestleCon's going on. Yeah, yeah, there's a lot of stuff going on. I think GCW's tonight. Uh, one Supercard of Honor. There's all, all sorts of shit. Oh my god, the Drifter212 gifted five subs right off the bat before we have even started the show. Thank you very much, you guys. Biggest, sickest, dummy. Yoshi, what are you doing, sir? What are you doing? 
any other names we can call you by, I would prefer that you just call me Wheezy because it's the easiest. <laughs> it makes the most sense. Scav Nemo, thank you for cheering those 100 bits. Um, there was something I was going to do. Does everybody here know who Weagle is at this point? Do, do we know who the Weagle is? All right. Does everyone know the Weagle? Anybody? 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 Do we know the Weagle? Why is it playing an ad? I don't want an ad. I want to show you the Weagle. Weagle. <laughs> so, if you have been in any of Conman, Conman 167's streams, he did a um he did a live stream this whole week. He did a subathon. And I had a an interview with my news station, my uh, local news station on um what day was it tuesday and he was nice enough to show his viewers in the time that he was online to show my interview now before the interview started before the interview started they had a live stream of this eagle i don't know oh it's bi a big bear valley there was just this eagle as everybody was waiting rko thank you for that super <laughs> chat i am having a great friday thank you very much um Purple Haze, Brian, thank you for gifting that sub. Um, I'll get to your bits in a minute. Let me finish my story because I will get so sidetracked. Vivance has worn the fuck off. Um, anyway, as they were waiting for the interview to start, there was this just this eagle on the screen and the entire chat, all of his viewers dubbed this eagle, the Weagle, the Wheezy Eagle, the Weagle. So all praise the Weagle. Um, I'm gonna show you the Weagle now. I'm gonna show you the Weagle now. Yeah. And I'm not gonna be able to see your chats for a moment because I'm going to make the screen very big. <laughs> this is the Weagle. <laughs> Say hello to the Weagle. All right. Praise the Weagle. I don't know I, why this is a live stream. What kind of camera it is. I don't know. But it's majestic as fuck. Okay. That is my Weagle. All praise the Weagle. Hail Weagle. Okay. That's all I wanted to show <laughs> That is all I wanted to show you. Respect the Weagle. Respect the Weagle. <laughs> We need a Weagle emote. We, we should probably figure that out. We should absolutely figure that out. Okay, so we got to level four of our hype train demon of nine. Thank you for cheering those 2,000 bits as always. Evening all, let's get ready to rumble. You did awesome on your interview. Thank you so very much. And Master26, thank you for cheering those five bits. And yeah, stream's already weird. Stream is, is consistently weird. Like, that's the whole point. That's why we're here. What Would you rather I just sit here and be boring as shit? Is that what you want? Is that what you want me to say? Am I streaming straight through Hall of Fame tonight? Yes, Robert. I will be. I mean, I might have to take a break here and there to like go grab something to eat, but I might be fine. I'm not super hungry. They have a cam on it because it was going to hatch eggs. It's in Big Bear. Oh, I love that you know this. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Is Roman a rock on tonight? Uh, I'm going to be straight up with you. I didn't look. I didn't look to see what was happening tonight whatsoever. I have no idea what's going on. No clue. The Lion's Wake, thank you for the resub. Happy two month subversary. Thank you so much for staying on board with us for a whole nother month and not dipping out. Why do we have all the yeets going on in the chat? What is happening? Best bird in the history of our sport. We salute you, Weagle. We salute you, Weagle. Will live beyond tonight? I don't know. Am I going to SmackDown in Detroit next week? No, I just can't, man. I've got so much going on. So much going on. Hey, Weezy, I'm going to tune in between you and Santi tonight. Well, thank you so very much. When does SmackDown start? Two minutes. Eight o'clock. Hey, girl, so ready for Mania. Greetings from Chile. Greetings from Indiana. Is tonight, aka you are not, um, I don't know what the fuck that just said. Techno Nerd Wrestling. Thank you so much for the resub. Happy seven months subversary. Hit me with the yeets. I'm going to hit you back with a no yeet. I'm going to hit you back with a no yeet. No yeet. Okay, okay. Uh, no mention of any bloodline except Jay Uso versus Solo. That's it. No Cody or Rock mentioned. Okay. It's got to be something, right? It's got to be something, though. Mellow versus Trick will be a great main event. Is that happening tonight? I don't know what the, I don't know the fuck's going on. Devin Trahan with the super chat over on the tube. Thank you so much. Hey, Weezy. Hope you've had a great week. WrestleMania is finally here. Can't wait. Also, the Bray Wyatt documentary made me cry like a baby. Must watch. I need to fucking watch that. And I still haven't had a chance to. Ah. AEW and Indy soon. When is that? 
because I honestly would love to go to an AEW show. I've never been, and I am a sore excuse for a wrestling fan because I live very close to Chicago. I have no reason to not have gone, and I just haven't. Um, besides the fact that I'm just afraid to go to certain wrestling shows by myself. I'm, I'm getting over that fear, but you know, you got to think of safety a lot of the time when, you know, you're a solo gal going out there in the world and I don't have anyone to bring with me on certain days, especially like if it's a dynamite on a Wednesday, like people got to work, man. Uh, don't be afraid of an AEW crowd. I'm terrified of an AEW crowd. I don't know why. I don't know why. I don't know why. Uh, there is a show four? We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Philly had the worst crowd ever last night. Um, what was that? Wait, for what? What last night? Demon of Nine gifted 10 community subs at the start of the show. Excuse me. Thank you so much, my VIP Demon of Nine. I appreciate you and your support as always. Thank you for being here. Thank you guys for joining me for WrestleMania weekend. If you are new, my name is Wheezy Blonde. Please hit that follow button on both YouTube and Twitch. I'm here every Monday and Friday. And yeah. That's what's happening. Let's let's uh let's get the show started. Philadelphia. <laughs> Only difference is Meek Mill. Okay, I can talk over this. Marching 1983, thank you for gifting those five subs, dude. I appreciate you. We are at level five of our hype train. Any subs and bits that are gifted or bought go towards the hype train goal, and you get cool emotes in response. What do you mean I was on TV again? This is my interview? So if you come for the bloodline, acknowledge us. Best not miss. Am I going to am I going to go to SummerSlam this year? It's a big possibility that I will. We've yes, big big possibility. Big Nothing set in stone, obviously, but we might make it happen. What is Hall of Fame going to be on? I think Peacock. Don't quote me on that. And it's about to be legendary. Andrew Rex, thank you so much for that super chat over on the tube. The Weagle has to be called William Weagle. You are correct. Sorry. Welcome Full name, William Weagle. Hi. Hey, <laughs> Levy. Okay. Bye. Love you. When is Hall of Fame? Hall of Fame is directly after SmackDown starts. Are we streaming all night? We will be streaming through Hall of Fame. Yep, we will be here for however long Hall of Fame lasts. We will be here. I wish I had planned better and I had some cool stuff for us to do tonight. Um, I'll get some stuff going for this weekend. A lot of the things that I had planned kind of fell through. So um, we'll come up with something cool for this weekend. <clears throat> Almost. Yeah, he is popped. To the door. <laughs> How long is Hall of Fame usually? Honestly, I'm, I'm, I don't really know. Someone said like an hour, someone said two hours. Did I make it into the gym? Yes, I did. I did not do my CrossFit workout though. I just did all my lifting. It took me a little over an hour. Are we watching Stand and Deliver? I do not plan on it, no, but we'll see. We'll see what time I wake up. I'd like to get some stuff done for the main show. On the eve of Here we go, here we go. Usually a few hours, yeah. We did, we did watch it last year, we did. But there's so many more of you than we had last year. That's for dang sure. All of Flame class kind of weak this year. Heyman will be good, though. I don't feel like it's weak, but that's okay. No prediction for Andre Battle Royal, as they have not put up who is in it and don't want to make a prediction by the time it's over. Okay, that's totally fine. We will not be having predictions for the Battle Royal, guys, so don't ask. Because it's a little complicated. It makes it very, very complicated. Your TV interview spot on WrestleMania was really well done. Thank you very, thank you very much, Broken Controller. I appreciate that. Philly wish Super Bowl was like this. Time to vicariously watch SmackDown through the stream because I don't have this channel. Got you. Starting out with KO. Why am I still recording? What's going on? Do, 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 do. Is this the match that's gonna have the change? Corey called this episode WrestleMania Smackdown. I mean, accuracy. Real Max Shady, thank you for cheering those 100 bits, dude. I appreciate you. 
Looks like Survivor Series 02. Easy into white hoodie. Hey, I am in a white hoodie. WrestleMania SmackDown edition of the KO, KO show, show with RKO. I didn't look at the the preview for the show. Also, I forgot my freaking laptop charger at work, so I have to run to the salon tomorrow on my day off to get my fucking laptop charger. I'm so irritated with myself. It's so dumb of me. Hey, Weezy, happy, Wrestle happy WrestleMania weekend, everybody. Did I see Hornswoggle rap in Nelly's Country Grammar? Uh, I did, actually. Yeah, I saw that on the, on the Twitter. Can you unmute your mic on the Discord? Oops. Yes, I can. Sorry. Sorry. Nothing can ever go completely smoothly. Max Shady, did I thank you for cheering those 100 bits? Don't remember, but I'm going to thank you again. So if you got two, thank yous. Cool. The big thing about your interview was how professional you came across as, but still a fan. Very personable as well. Never know who might see the interview. Cough, WWE, cough. We can only hope somebody sees it, right? We can only hope somebody sees it. We're working hard. We're working hard. Phil Dog, thank you for the resub. Happy two months anniversary. Thank you for being here. Thank you for choosing to be here for another month. I appreciate you very, very much. And we get a KO check. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a very special edition of the Kevin Owens Show. <laughs> and it's not just special because it's WrestleMania weekend, it's special because my guest tonight is an absolute legend in this industry. Look at this shirt. I like this shirt. And every time I get to share the ring with him, it means a lot to me. We'll share it on Sunday, but I'm gonna bring him out right now. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Randy Orton. You saw my interview? Thank you for watching it. I appreciate that. Is Kevin's lip extremely pink or is it just me? Um, his face looks pink. I don't know if he was outside in, in like the cold and got windburn or what, what is he? <laughs> nice. Was I nervous doing the interview? I was. I mean, I always get nerves before like any big thing, but I mean, I wasn't, you know, so nervous that I was like incapacitated, you know. But, yeah, I was, I was, I was nervous. But I do pretty good under pressure, you know. Probably outside most of today for WWE events. Yeah, that's kind of what it looks like to me. Just some wind burn, some chap lips. That needs to get put to one side very quickly because there's too much at stake. This WrestleMania Sunday. Talk to me. You watched a two very good interviews. Thanks, guys. Thanks for hyping up my interview. For saying nice things to me. I could use that right now. I could totally use that right now. What's my favorite entrance music? Guys, what's my favorite entrance music? Does anybody remember? Let's quiz you. Let's quiz you. You love WrestleMania weekend? Me too. I was very engaging. Thank you, Tracy. I tried. You didn't go Ricky Bobby first interview. What do I do with my hands? I live in front of a camera, you know? I live in front of a camera. Best chairs WWE's money can buy. They spin and everything. Wow. Thank you. Now, Randy, thank you, first of all, for joining me here. And you know, on Sunday, there, man. it's a big match. A lot of people it's, there, a lot of people It's there. Randy Orton versus Kevin Owens. That's me. <laughs> versus Logan Paul. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gonna boo Wars. Logan. And then, look, <clears throat> I wrote, he's cool for you. <laughs> I saw that. Yeah. I saw that. <laughs> and it's for the United States Championship. And, you know, obviously, we both want to walk out champion. We know what that means. But for now, tonight, we stand here. Well, we sit here united by a common denominator, and that is our strong dislike slash hatred for one Logan Paul. Yeah. Yeah, but you guys yeah. have to face each other I still, too. They all feel it, too. 
But you know, the Kevin Owens show is about tough questions, so I have a tough question for you, Randy. Hmm. Wasn't that loud? Loud in there. That one man yeah, just directly. That's what I wrote on the shirt. Look. Stone Logan face. Sucks right here. Like I'm not All cheering. Right. Shit. So my question <laughs> is, on a scale of one to ten, just how dislikable, annoying, repulsive do you find Logan Paul? There was a guy that used to do that. You know, there was a guy that I used to do that. disagree with everybody. <laughs> disagree? Yeah, I, I'm going to say... <laughs> he's no. 11. And 11, hey. that's right. Wow. Randy. Randy. Kevin. Are you kidding me? He's at the stage. He's in the Look at you guys. So stadium. Cool. I had to think of the word. Stadium. You guys be a little buddies, huh? Yeah. Yeah, Tweedledee and Tweedledum. You guys are like a couple of toddlers playing in a sandbox. Meanwhile, me, I'm a Don. I'm out here in the real world building empires. And you two are... <laughs> Shut up, Philadelphia. Y'all are idiots. <laughs> I'm building empires. Y'all are doing what? Wasting your time on the Kevin Owens show? You idiots. I'm two steps ahead of you at all times. I'm already right here, thinking about my victory at WrestleMania outside the ring, where I will retain and remain United States Champion. Logan Paul, it. I mean, it's I think you already. are too. I do. Ooh, look at that. You know, yeah. uh, it's cool seeing it empty. That's me. Bam. This guy. This guy talks a lot of trash for someone who's literally across the street. Did you know the stadium's like right across the street? I think you're right. Stadium stampede. And we're very close. Yeah, yeah, it's like right out those doors. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Run across the street. Oh, Kevin's going to have a really rough time. I think I am. Oh, no, Kevin. Oh. Be careful, buddy. Looks like Orton and Owens are going to make the journey. It's going to get his cardio in today. To it's going to get his cardio in today. Logan Paul thought he was a safe How do you guys feel about the stage? Because I actually like it. Grayson Waller, Austin Theory. What are they doing? Whatever trap they were trying to spring, are they going to? Has been missed time. Did Theory and Waller miss their moment? Miss their cue? What is going on? Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. <laughs> Tonight. Uh, excuse me. Here comes Hornswoggle. Hi, 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 hi. What's up? A what's up, A Money? What's what's up, everybody? You like the sage? I do too. You better have a chat with your brother. Oh, look, I'm not telling him what to do. Hey, blonde, what's up? How's it going? I'm great. Thank you for asking. Am I streaming Hall of Fame? Yes, I am. The title says I am, guys. Context clues. Context clues. Read, read, read the title. The, is 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 hall of fame well okay youtube you don't count i'm not talking to youtube so i'm talking to twitch <laughs> it's a valid question on youtube but twitch it's in it's in the title it's in the, it's in the title it, it's been a long day for me too dog am i streaming smackdown <laughs> very funny i like the philly colors on the stage too it's very green it's very very millennium very futuristic i dig it i dig it i dig it hashtag glasses it's hashtag hashtag glasses this is my clark kent era clark kent era am i in philadelphia am i in philadelphia you know um yeah you know i picked up my entire office and i Moved it somewhere else. I moved it to Philadelphia. I did it overnight, you know. I'm very fast. Very, very fast. Did I watch the kickoff show? No. I was at work and then I went to the gym. Have I ever been to a WrestleMania before? No, I have not. You have a question, Ahmad. It better be a damn good question. It better be a damn good 
question, you hear me? If you're gonna ask me a question, it better be a good question, okay? What you got? Hit me with it. Do your best. If you're asking me who I think is winning a fucking match at WrestleMania, I'm gonna lose my mind. <laughs> or, if you ask me if I'm gonna be at WrestleMania, Ahmad, don't play with me. Don't play with me. You hate sarcasm? Why? She's in a U-Haul driving around towards Philadelphia. Yeah, it's a little bumpy. Has anyone ever told you that you look like a Stephanie? No. Eh, nope. So you basically did what Patrick did in SpongeBob. Exactly. It's a good one. Well, quit stalling. Ask. Most, most ras, most ras lion sucks now, it now says. He said, most ras lion sucks now says. Woo, we are in for it tonight. <laughs> We're in for it. <laughs> AEW's in Indy, in Indy, April 17th. I can't do that. That's way too short of notice. And April is already fucking insanity for me. I can't do that. I do not plan on streaming Stand and Deliver as of right now. No, I do not. I do not. Um, how is Cody going to win this? I don't know. I'm going to watch and find out. <laughs> how is the air in Philadelphia? Stinky. Uh, Wheezy is in a pineapple under the sea. Yes. Just came in. Is Wheezy doing a heel turn? No. No. Or has she just been one the whole time? I mean, it just depends on the day and it depends on my mood, honestly. I'm very tired, so I might get a little cranky, but I feel like... Show the screen, Wheezy. Carl. You know I can't show the screen, Carl. Come on, Carl. Come on, Carl. You know how this goes, dog. You know. Ahmad says, what is the story of Cody? I'm serious. Ahmad, buddy, I really had high hopes that you were going to ask me a really good question. Cody's story is that he needs to win the title. He's, he's got to beat Roman. That's, that's it. Yeah, damn it, Carl. Weezy been a heel? If you did I feel the quake? No, I'm in Indiana. I think I'm too far. But no, I didn't feel nothing. Which is outside of Wells Fargo. Just run over there, Randy. Just boy, you so athletic, just run. Get on your feet. Oh my god. Stadium Stampede! Stadium Stampede! Can this thing hold our weight? <laughs> No. No. Cameraman running for his life. Cameraman running for his life. WrestleMania SmackDown. Oh, this is kind of turning into an episode of the Benny Hill show at this point. I'm guessing by your clothes that you didn't go to the gym. Jeremy, I did go to the gym. I showered when I got home. And over the top rope battle royal to honor the memory. Come on, Carl. <laughs> The eighth wonder of the world. This man is trying to tell me there is no story. Cody has no story. Well, I guess we can just go home, guys. We don't even need to have WrestleMania. Ahmad said that Cody doesn't have a story. What a rude assumption. People are just fucking rude in general. I'm getting used to it, but my God, I'm going to have to drink more. <laughs> just going to have to drink more to deal with it. As the winner of the Andre the Giant. It's my fault. I read every comment. This is what I do it to myself. No <laughs> one can do it to myself. <laughs> this man has to be a heavy favorite. Big Bronson Reed's here. You poured a double shot before entering chat. I will have a drink or two before we stream WrestleMania tomorrow. Believe that. I think I'm going to go. My salon is having like a, a salon dinner at six. So I'm going to go a little before then, have a drink and talk to everybody and then like rush my ass home. So it might be a little late for the free show. We'll see what I get done tomorrow. There's just so much happening this month, you know? Liv Morgan needs to finish her story. Yeah, I'll, let's one day at a time, everybody. Let's focus on what's in front of us right now. Let's let's focus on what's in front of us, you know? Uh, we gotta get through Rhea and Becky right now, okay? Let's get through that, and, and then we'll see where everything else goes. You know what I'm saying? Beard does gaming. Thank you for that subscription with Prime, buddy. I appreciate you. 
<clears throat> Omas is back, baby. I would have liked to see an Omas entrance. Season, and we talk about you want Ricochet to win this match so badly? He might. Has been on an absolute tear recently. No way. Yeah, and you've got about 25 guys in this ring. Oh, we do get an Omas entrance. Never mind. Oh, he's like, is he already in the ring? What's going on? To do something about it and show <laughs> Everybody, where they went wrong. Uh, show some damn respect right now. I'm go yeah. Almost Sapiens rise. We got MVP. Acknowledge Omas. Acknowledge the Nigerian giant. Right? That's right. Makes me want to run through brick walls. <laughs> well, WrestleMania 40 is sponsored Snickers, Snickers, <laughs> Tracy, thank you for that super chat over on the tube. I really love the interview you were made for this, so rate yourself. Like I said before, paint your canvas as you see fit. Thank you for all you do for us and enjoy the ride. It's WrestleMania weekend. Let's go. Thank you so much, Tracy. I'm so glad you found us. Thank you for being a part of my community. I really appreciate you. One of the sane ones over on the tube, man. Tracy's a real one. Tracy's a real one. Let's go. Yes, boy. They're wearing green. Okay, I'm fucking stoked for this, actually. I'm excited. <laughs> yes. Um, help them. No, are they going to get out immediately? Ooh, they may have made some enemies over the past 12 months here on SmackDown. Goodbye, Kit Wilson. even have a chance. Boo! Not how pretty deadly envisioned their WrestleMania weekend beginning. And Elton just eliminated himself. Elton! No, pretty deadly off tag team specialists. This is not a tag team match. Ooh. I don't blame them. Okay, no, now now they all want to go at him. So much for keeping the peace. It is breaking down in a hurry. You must eliminate your opponents by oh. throwing them over the top rope with both feet hitting the floor. There goes Angel Garza. Angel, you just jumped the fuck out of the ring, dog. What were you? Angel! He literally did. They simply haven't been focused on winning this matchup. Shorvin Wild and Del Toro still legally in this matchup. They were pulled underneath the bottom rope. I'm pretty sure Cameron Grimes just got kicked out of the competition. Nasty landing. Okay, Cameron's out. Type of matchup, simply impossible to defend. Now, Jinder Mahal, the only. Who's Omas working on? Ivar. Really doing his stuff, but whoa! Jinder just avoided. Jinder's gone. I just cursed him, didn't we hindered the gender. Sure but now Veer and Sangha without a leader inside the battle. Uh, is that Let Apollo? Apollo Cruz. Yeah, okay. much size this is going fast. This is going fast. Sometimes doesn't help. Well, speaking of size and power, here's Brutus and Julius, the Creed brothers, who just eliminated in Veer has come, Veer went. Okay. Freakish Creed Brothers. Athleticism we've become mm. used to from the Creed Brothers. Moss is in the corner. Tremendous Woo! athleticism being displayed by the barbarian Ivar. And okay. All right. JD's getting beat the fuck Big up. Bronson Reed. JD wow. McDonough getting absolutely crushed. Moss just standing over JD. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh. Poor JD. God. My goodness. Talk like a rag doll. <laughs> He's yeah, dead. He's dead. Dead. Almost, this match continues. Almost a clear Look at JD's point. back. Look at like his upper back. It's completely red. Oh my god. I love matches like this. They're fun. Uh, this match should be on the Mania pre-show. I know, but you know what? It's fun to have on a SmackDown. Honestly, it's gonna make it's gonna make SmackDown go very quickly, and then we'll get to Hall of Fame. So, where'd Veer come from? Where'd Veer go? Where'd fear come from, Katna Joe? That bobblehead makes him an easy target. Someone on Twitter took a picture with him at, uh, what is it? Was, what is it? Was WWE World or WrestleMania? I don't fucking know what it was called. Uh, the, bi the big WWE convention they had. And someone took a picture with him and put in the title, like, JD's built like a turtle. <laughs> you heard MJF has been spotted in Philly. Yeah, so Philadelphia, the week of the week of WrestleMania, basically almost 
every professional wrestler, no matter if you're on the indies, no matter if you're with AEW, um, basically everyone goes to wherever WrestleMania is because there are so many shows. There's there's GCW is there, Ring of Honor is there. There's there's um, the names of companies that I don't even completely know. Wale Mania is there. So isn't MJF from Philly? No, isn't he from? I don't want to say the wrong thing. Long is he from Long Island? He's from New York, I think, or Jersey. One of the two. But Long Island. I thought it was Long Island. Um, love how you're a hate heel fan. LOL. Gonna have that wheezy sign up at SummerSlam in my hometown this year. Thank you. It's called WWE World. Thank you. Nick Khan was at Bloodsport. Yes. Well, a WWE talent was at Bloodsport. And there is also a video of Braun Strowman was there, Karrion Cross was there, and Nia Jax was there. They were all cheering on Shayna. I haven't had a chance to watch it yet. I, I really wanted to. Uh, I didn't make it home in time from work to watch it. Wheezy, they go because WrestleCon goes where Mania is. Yeah, and there's also people that are in matches. Was MJF at WrestleCon? I'm not sure. But either way. Love the endgame video. See you in Conman and Santa, your stars. Ace of Steel is just literally the best wrestling creator. Just the best. Just goofy animation, like so creative. I, I love that. You're not a big Shayna fan, but outside of the ring, she seems like the fucking coolest, but I'm also a big up, up, down, down fan. I love Shayna. We love Shayna here. There's no Shayna slander in here. We love Shayna. Okay? Yeah. Loved you and your pics of Sting and Dustin. Oh my God freaking out meeting Dustin honestly do you smell what the rock is cooking always did they eliminate Omos during the commercial break what the fuck okay hey is that Jason crashing over the Jason top the favorite is out and this one has been busted oh. wide open and whacking wild might be busted open after that fall Jason's back I haven't gotten to do a Jason chant in forever Jason 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 Cedric Alexander the herd is thinning in a hurry still a lot of super heavyweights left in there but ricochet Jason Ayers the he's there offense of this madman keeping him See Ricochet trying to build some momentum in the corner against Big Bronson Reed. Connects with an Enzigiri from the outside in a second. There goes Ashante the Adonis over the top, courtesy of Ivar. We got a lot of you're Akira big, Tazawa right like, now. Big it's men in the ring right now. Meat on meat on meat. Oh, the meat planets are aligning. The meat planets. <laughs> We're gonna meet Mania after all. Meat Mania. Full solar eclipse a few days early. I can never Three get over how athletic Ivar is. So athletic. The biggest, baddest of all for time, for that much meat, man. Oh my god! My goodness, what impact! <laughs> Champagne supernova in the middle of the Tazawa ring. felt it. He felt the vibrations. Another earthquake. Another earthquake. Crazy ass for life. Thank you for that raid, buddy. Welcome in, everybody. My name is Weezy Blonde. We are watching Friday Night SmackDown before WrestleMania. These two could very well meet again. I think Ricochet's going to win. I think, I think Ricochet's going to win. It's about the <gasps> Jay! Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. It's because I said that. I'm sorry, Ricochet. That happened because I said it. What the fuck is JD still in here? That was beautiful! Go to Zawa! Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Kazawa winning. Absolutely nothing good can happen. Oh no! He's just a boy. Sandwich mid ring. Rudy 61, thank you for that resub, dude. Happy two month anniversary. Thank you for giving us another month and sticking around. Catches the massive leg The way he can kick that leg up, though. Some result. Look at the agility of the Everybody's ripping their shirts off. Otis is rolling. Cover your eyes, guys. Someone says Nobody Reed's gonna win. To we're all we're all all over the place. We're all all over the place. Woo. A WrestleMania-sized caterpillar. Don't 
Celebrate too soon. Bye bye, Otis. And again, Tazawa still hanging tough. Well, I admire the recovery oh, from everyone Tazawa is saying after getting his Reed. sternum okay. crushed just seconds ago, but this might be good night. You know what's that old saying? If you're going to be Tom, you got to oh. be Tom. Oh, That's it. All right, we need an ambulance. Yeah. We, yeah. <laughs> Ooh. I am at a okay? loss for words. We knew this was going to be hard ooh, hitting, ooh. heavy artillery. We are down to Ivar and Big Bronson fuck. Reed. Fuck, a fuck, real fuck. Life kaiju battle. Move over, Godzilla and King Kong. Our big boys want to fight. Two behemoths yeah, who simply do not that like was nothing, feeling that was small I in that sure ring. I can't even focus. Just terrifying athleticism from a man the size of Ivar. Yeah, these ain't your old school big guys, are mm. they? The new generation hosses we're watching right now. Oh, that leg, man. These no, they shouldn't be able to move like this, but the fact that, oh my god. I smell an imminent doom salt. I think the first six or seven rows just smell Ivar. From the very top turnbuckle. God almighty, man. You should not be able to do that. Ivar. Rolling I just love, I just, their agility, you know. Oh, that's it. Done. Okay, you, you were right. It was Bronson. It was Bronson. <laughs> no, no, but really though, Tony, this is why I watched wrestling as a kid. You want your five-star matches? Your 30-minute classics? <laughs> Not me. Big meaty man, <laughs> but me. <laughs> Slapping me, I'm sorry. <laughs> I still don't get why people can't acknowledge the fact that, me, that Bronson Reed is made of it material. Maybe not Roman's level, but definitely Seth. He's very overlooked. I think this is kind of what they're doing now. I don't know that he's been placed in a position just yet for that to really happen. And over the course of like maybe the last two months, I feel like that's where they've been heading. And I think like him winning this is exactly like what they're proving, you know, doing that. Is Tazawa alive? I know. I, I, I would just want to know if Tazawa is okay. Truthfully. By the arrival of an American nightmare. We're about to learn what that damn vest again. <laughs> Good spots. No, they're, they're, they were. That was that was a very entertaining match. I love shit like that. He landed on the side of his neck. Why? Did I hear about Cody's bus? Yes. Wish they had a women's battle royal. I know. I like battle royals. And it was an easy one to follow too. Sometimes, uh, sometimes they're they're not easy to follow. You waiting for SRS? Yeah, I'm sure it'll be the first thing I see as soon as I pull up Twitter. You aren't in Philly, no, Galactus. I'm not. My Philly plans fell through, but you know what? I get to be here with you, where I belong. You know, we're still building a platform. We're still building the blonde line. And the whole plan was to watch, you know, WrestleMania from home. We see gave up Philly for us. Well, I mean, I was gonna, I was gonna give up WrestleMania for you guys, but I mean, it was selfish at the same time. <clears throat> but the event that I was gonna work got canceled pretty much because of WWE World. So. And then I was supposed to work with them on something else, and then I never, they, they gave me an offer, and then I never heard back. And you know what? I'm not, like, no, I'm not doing that. I'm not repeatedly messaging the same fucking people after you, like, you came to me. You came to me, and you offered me something to do for you in exchange for something else. Like, that's not how this works. I'm not gonna fucking, anyway, partner with me. Like, no, you reached out to me. <laughs> the fuck? Um, so he was supposed to wrestle Seth in Perth for the title belt, but Seth got hurt. So I think they will start pushing him after WrestleMania. Oh, uh, Reed was. 
Yeah, 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 yeah. Did they feel the earthquake in Philly? I saw some people say that they did. Alex did. Uh, Queen of the Rings said she did. What's my best mania I witnessed or watched? I've never been to a mania, but the best mania that I've watched? I mean... I like to pick recent ones because all time mine is mine is 17. Um, I also really like three. But uh, as of late, 38, like 38 was honestly my one of my my favorites for sure. Um, You felt it in northern Maryland. It's oh, crazy. I've never felt I don't we've had earthquakes here, but I don't remember like ever really actually feeling them. You live on Long Island, so I definitely the earthquake shook your cabinets. That's fucking nuts, man. Your favorite one that I watched live as it was happening was 25. I wasn't there for it, but I watched it. Everybody um in the comments, what's your favorite WrestleMania? What's your favorite WrestleMania? What's your favorite WrestleMania? Tell me, tell me. You were there for Seth's cash in. Oh my god. A lot of 17s, a lot of 17s. Calcio says 39 was better than 38. 39 was great, and that's a great answer. Absolutely. Um, Maribel, and you don't never see, you don't ever see me in glasses, no, because I don't typically wear them. Um, but I'm going to be here for a long time tonight, and I just wanted to be comfortable. And I am comfortable with you guys, so you just get to see me without my blush on that y'all make fun of me for. <laughs> so... Yeah, this is me. 17 easily, 31 or 30, 38, 25, X7, 19. A lot of us are on the same page with 17. Three, you were at the Silver Dome. That's amazing. Wheezy is one of your favorite live reaction streamers. Well, thank you for being here. T Mac. Hi, dude. 19. 19 is, is up there too. 19's up there too. Uh, my answer for a while was difficult between like 17 and 19. I'm not going to lie. I'm kind of hoping J Jason Kelsey shows up. I think I think the Kelsey family is going to be there. Uh, I, I think, you know, Mama Kelsey months back was at the Performance Center because uh, she took a picture with Shawn Michaels. So I think they're going to be there. Didn't they confirm that? Uh, CB Psych 86, thank you for subscribing. Welcome to the Blonde Line. I appreciate you for becoming a part of my community. Thank you for being here. Let's get Taylor to perform at WrestleMania. People would be so fucking mean about that. <clears throat> Hopefully T Swift is there too. <laughs> it would honestly be hilarious. What about 21? 21, 21. That one off the, the top of my FS1 head. The to I don't know There's everyone committed to memory. I won't the lie to you. Gets started at two Eastern I'm pretty good. I'm getting better. Let's cut the Shakespeare and get to the chase. The first Hollywood. 21 better than 19 in your opinion. The lesson of humility. Wait, wait, yeah. Lion Panther Nick, gifting 10 subs. Dude, thank you so much for that. Thank you for your support. Thank you for being a part of the Blonde Line. Much appreciated. Yeah, see, I thought Kelsey was, was announced to be there. single-handedly carried this conflict to a point where it became a must-see fight. So TBHC Stuttering Gamer, thank you for subscribing for six whole months, buddy. Thank you so very much. You're in it for the long haul. Thank you. I appreciate that. Doogee, thank you for subscribing with Prime. Appreciate you. I, I did not listen to anything Harry and said. Fuck, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We're in the city that made extreme famous. What a battle on WrestleMania Sunday. Wait. But the United States but, champion is in fact here at Wells Fargo. Wait, they just, but they went there and, you know, he's here. Hold on. The of the night, wait. The was next door at Lincoln Financial Field, the site of WrestleMania. But the Maverick keeps everybody guessing. Oh, it's a setup. And Kevin Owens once again, which has been a mm. running theme for the past couple of months. Yeah, but the running all comes to an end at WrestleMania. Hey, yo! Don't do that. 
Good evening, people of South Jersey. Uh, just found out I'm in Philadelphia, equally as trash. Hey, whoever I it was to make me spend a weekend in Philadelphia, you're fired. When I look around at the crowd and I see people like like you and like you, <laughs> all I see are idiots. <laughs> So, of course, you idiots cheer for Randy Orton and Kevin Owens. Prime is mid. <laughs> no, Think about it. You're dummies. They're dummies. Yeah. Like attracts like. They got me wrestling two of the dumbest dudes in the WWE. And Damn how dog. Damn dog. Damn Randy dog. got a head the size of an elephant but a brain the size of a peanut. And Kevin Owens, he's using all his brain power trying to figure out how to digest his last meal, which likely consisted of roadkill and a rubber tire. But me, y'all looking at a mastermind, a strategist. This is purposely I'm bad. <laughs> four dimensional chess, a game of cat and mouse. Mm -hmm. No. No, no, no. <laughs> right now, my associates, Grayson Waller and Austin Theory, oh, are across God. the street. Stooges. About to lay Stooges is more like heroes, it. Randy and Kevin. God damn. And let me tell you something. What? I got eyes on the scene. Mm. Mm -hmm. And this beatdown ain't going to be pretty. There's a cameraman mm. on site right now. So if you're squeamish, I have to warn you, you best look away. His neck is real red. Let's see that. Well, that is a live view of Lincoln Financial Field next door we're looking at. Hey, I saw him, dude. You, got, you were with the man. No, man. Ah, I'm trying to figure it out. Where could it be? That we followed them on the golf cart. We followed him on the golf cart. We followed him right here. We followed him on the golf cart. They're supposed to be here. They're supposed to be here. No, I checked up there. I checked the ring. Hey, Logan, we looked everywhere. We're 90% sure they're not here anymore, dude. We can't that can't be them. true. There's a 10% chance, then, you're saying. Did you do He's it? here. Were you guys stirring up? No. Because it's no. <laughs> they could be anywhere. Hey. Here they are. Kevin! 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 Kevin, come to us! You played yourself. so <laughs> big. Do. And he just kicked in for the United States champion and get him, get him, get him, get him back. I like the pink shoes. Yeah, throw him to Randy. Hell yeah. I have no earthly idea how, but they are here and stunner. Will taste of wrestle maybe a back up, get back up. But remember this Sunday under triple threat rules, it is every man for himself. When the United States title's on the line. You want them to beat up your brother? I mean, he deserves it. Let's be real. And Logan yeah. About to get a dose you never wanted to punch your brother in the face? Vitriol. Let's be real. I'm sure some of get you beat the there, shit Logan. out of your siblings. I don't want to hear it. <laughs> hey! He did. Nice! <laughs> No, Randy is, is very big now. Nate, yes. That's a big boy. Carlito beat up Dragon Lee? Where are you guys seeing this? Where are you guys seeing this? Quit fucking telling me shit before it happens! Fuck. Knock it off. He'll be all right. He'll be all right. But he probably can't com perform this weekend then. Can he? Hmm. Hmm. Do we get Andrade? Maybe? Maybe? 
I don't know. El ídolo. She got the chancla. Oh. Zalina, they're so concerned. They're so, so worried. Oh my goodness! Someone is telling me that they met Bailey this weekend. I would love to meet Bailey. Some will call that cultural appropriation. She's literally Hispanic. The fuck do you mean? Cultural appropriation when it's her culture? What? Am I ready for four nights of streaming? No. Yes, I am. We can do it. We can do it. We're ready. Why is Zelina carrying sandals? That's the chancla. You wouldn't get it. Have you never watched? Uh, uh, Latino comedian? And she's failing badly because concern is written all over that mug. You're going to Mania both days. So exciting. White winged weagle. The weagle. We're going to get Alberto Del Rio. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Shut up, McDonut. <laughs> Just want to pop in and say congratulations on all your recent success. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. Am I streaming Stand and Deliver? Probably not, guys. Probably not. Cut me some slack. <laughs> I did not take WrestleMania week off from work, and I and I should have, and that was my bad, and that was my fault. Um, moving forward, I know better. I just I just wasn't thinking. Seen interactions between these two recently. Rich Party Boys return. How would you feel? It'd be pretty cool. It'd be very cool. Well, I think the look Itchy Beaver 69. Thank you for resubscribing. Happy five months anniversary. Thank you for still being here. We were really over on our chat at one point. <laughs> You're all chosen because you are enough. You made it. Do, 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 do. Paul, can you guys have a little bit of patience? What do you mean spoilers? We are watching live with a slight time delay. Yeah, just don't fucking tell me something in the chat before it happens. Don't do that. Don't do that. That's all it means. You miss Mad Rider? Yeah, he hasn't been here. He dipped on us. He dipped on us. He was like, deuces. It happens. It happens. It happens. Maybe we'll make a grand return at some point, but. Domin Andrade entering with Santos. Judgment might be over. I'm telling you, you should go watch my newest YouTube video where I talk about that. It's I talk about it in my um, Mad Writers Broke. <laughs> oh, goodness. Just listen to the audio and guess what part Wheezy is on. Ma really said, here's your switch and dipped. I know. Really, though. Bro's going to have that CM Punk Survivor Series return. <laughs> Proceeds to donate the budget of a country and leaves. I mean, literally, though. It was quite wild for, uh, quite wild for a minute. Makes you feel bad, honestly. Yes, yesterday was Chelsea's birthday. Matt finally succumbed to the father time or his mom, girlfriend, wife saw the credit card bill. <laughs> right? <laughs> when am I debuting on WWE? Probably never. Probably never. Am I going to Philly? Nope. I can't believe I'm still being asked like the day before. <laughs> I tried to get the information out there the best that I could, but you know, it just you just can't reach everybody, you know? You just can't reach everybody. You heard the hotel thought she was a, yep, yeah, they, they did. They thought she was an escort. Mm-hmm. I forgot about my flight. Go to Mania next year. We'll see what happens. We'll see where the road takes us. We'll see where the wind, we'll see where the wind carries us, you guys, you know? We'll see where the wind carries us. It's one, one day at a time. One day at a time with some goals. And right now, start a GoFundMe now for WrestleMania next year. I don't need to do that. I don't need to start a GoFundMe for it. It's my favorite place to eat. 
I'm not going to tell you. Catch the red eye to Philadelphia. No. <laughs> I would have wanted to be there for everything this week. Now I don't, I don't need to be there for WrestleMania. I want to watch from home. Someone's got to watch it from home. We can't all be at WrestleMania, right? The ratings would be terrible. Nobody's asking Wheezy the question I thought I'd see a thousand times today. Don't jinx me. I don't even know what you're talking about, but don't jinx me. You thought Barnaby's? I rarely ever eat at Barnaby's. Philadelphia, I love Barnaby's. Center. This is one-on-one -on -one competition between Zelina Vega and Electra Did you miss Lopez anything? And bad news. Moments before I this mean, matchup yeah. got underway, Dragon Lee of the I'm excited for Paul's induction as well. Presumably by Legato Del Fantasmo or Santos Escobar. Yeah, and you have to feel Do for Zelina Vega trying to oh get my God. back in the game after Easy that. Pull. And of course, add to that fact that Andrade has apparently taken a stand Every in the time of Lucha I go to do it. LWO. Every so time. Unfortunate scene if you are a WWE Hall of Famer, Rey Mysterio. Am I streaming the induction? Lucy! We're in the title. Zelina trying to We're in the title, dog. A few offensive maneuvers, build a little momentum at the expense of Lopez. Well, it took a few minutes there for um, Zelina to get into the fight here. It appears she has woken up now. The fight is on. Electra attempted to avoid contact to the best of her ability, but still got a glancing blow from Vega. Yeah. Now trapped in the bottom turnbuckle. I didn't see. Is it? Electra Lopez God. in a hole. They look so much alike. Trouble at this point. Zelina Vega sliding into the cover. Fuck is her name, Electra? Wait, you have to remember the history between Zelina Vega and Andrade, dating back to their time in NXT. Yeah, even before that, they trained together in Mexico. Those two go back a long way. Zelina, it's not Al Carmen Electra. Power. <laughs> Electra Lopez just planted Zelina fire. Vega. Oh, that Electra fire. As she calls it, just a split second away from victory. If you're in your Clark Kent era, then I claim Bruce Wayne deal. I dig it. I dig it, I dig it. Electra unleashing her fury on Zelina Vega in front of 19,833 members of the WWE Universe for WrestleMania SmackDown. Electra looking to make a climb to the top turnbuckle, able to kick Vega away. Zelina giving chase. A 619. Yeah, highly inventive. Some of she's taking from her mental leg. Mysterio, but it might do the job here for Vega. Zelina looking for a big time DDT to Spike Lopez. That's gonna do it. But dirty You're Dom, distracting Ooh, this boy. Fishing. What are you doing Zelina now? May have had this thing won by now if it weren't for Dom. Got to move faster than that. Are we gonna get Dom and Legado del and Fantasma? Now, it's personal. Electra muscling up Vega. She calls that the Electra shock. No! You can call Electra Lopez the winner. Boo! Here's your winner. Electra Lopez. Freaking how? In the end, the distraction before the match. The attack on Dragon Lee. Hate that. Just a little too much for Zelina What are they doing? What are they doing? What are they doing? Line drawn in the world of Lucha is clear. And Legado down Fantasma head on. Oh, Dominic oh, oh, going after Dan. Dominic Mysterio and Santos Escobar yet again taking cheap shots at the expense of the WWE Hall of Famer. Andrade? 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 El idolo. Come on. moment like please acknowledge each other come on come on come on you don't give that to me i swear to god yeah respect is everything to ray mysterio to zelina vega and to love it yay no love that Amazing, amazing. <laughs> Look at Naomi's bag. That says damage control shucks. I said shucks. Sucks. Mm -mm. 
<laughs> love that. Love that. Love that. SGJ, thank you for the resub. Happy whole. You've been here a whole year, SGJ. Thank you, dude. I appreciate that. The real winner here is Andrade. I love it. I love it. I love it. See, I thought it was initially going to be on like, well, okay, they haven't even announced that he's taking Dragon's place, but I'm assuming that's what's happening. I don't know if that's what's happening, but I'm assuming. What's on my face? What do you mean what's on my face? Your eyes are trying to stay focused on what? Jade's your new favorite. I love Jade. Love Jade. I love Jade. The glasses. The glasses on my face. I'm sorry. I need to fucking see. <laughs> Jeffrey Dahmer glasses. Mm, kind of, yeah. Kind of, kind of. Why does Elena always look like she's going to cry? She was emotional. That was an emotional moment. Come on now. What snack I got here? Uh, Pretzels. Pretzel rounds. Which superstar you had a bad experience meeting? Um, <laughs> uh, really none. Really none. <laughs> My interview showed up in your Google page. What? Carlito ain't gonna like that. Is Hall of Fame on, buddy? We're still in the middle of SmackDown. I really worry about like reading comprehension. It's at an all-time low. It's at an all-time low, you know? It's the Gen Alpha, man, that can't write their names. It's really it's really alarming. Really alarming. Don't think I forgot about MJF wanting you. <laughs> I signed an NDA. I'm kidding. <laughs> I signed an NDA. <laughs> Not allowed to talk about it. I'm kidding. <laughs> What's Gen Alpha? I don't know. Aren't the oldest one, I think, is like 14. Smoked double oon two. Thank you for the resub. Happy two months anniversary. Happy two. Easy. The dawn of WrestleMania is here. Are you ready? Do you know if the Hall of Fame is going to be streamed live? Yeah. After SmackDown. I remind you of Charlotte. Oh my God. I've never heard that one before. <laughs> I don't know if you know who Cozy is. You look like her with your look now. I don't know who that is. I want to get new glasses. These are really old and they're super scratched up, but I like big glasses. I like big like fashion glasses, but I don't wear them regularly. So, wait, there's Hall of Fame tonight? Yep, after SmackDown. Pretty sure it's on Peacock. Pretty sure. Insert blonde person that looks like Wheezy every time. What am I gonna munch on for Mania tomorrow? I really don't know. I kind of really want wings, honestly. I'm feeling wings. Now, normally I get pizza, but I don't know. I'm not, I'm not feeling it. Do we get Roman tonight since he's inducting Paul? Join us tomorrow I don't know. We have to have some kind of moment between some of the main eventers, right? The like they have to do something the day before. In his panel I mean, I think Michael we'll Cole, Pat McAfee, maybe we'll at least CM get Cody, Cody maybe? Big e, I don't know. Jackie Redman and Wade Barrett will get you ready for the show of shows starting at 5 p.m. Eastern. Ticket I feel like something might happen at Hall of Fame. By. Oh, Bring for sure. Signs. Make signs at the countdown signs so Happy Nakano is going into the Hall of Fame. I studied her before Saturday. getting into the business myself. That's awesome. Boneless or bone in? I'm not going to tell you because you're going to be fucking judgy, which means you already know what my answer is. I like boneless wings, all right? I don't want to fuck with a bone. It's messy. I don't want to fuck with it. Actually, I do think I'm going to get wings. That sounds good. Boneless wings are so good. They're so easy to eat. I, might, I could even just door dash it, honestly. You're going to indulge this weekend? I need to quit indulging. Well, I mean, I didn't really indulge that bad. I just drank last weekend because I was at that wrestling convention. And I'll have a couple drinks this weekend. But I'm going to C2E2 in Chicago. Uh, the 26th, 27th. And I'm cosplaying as Chelsea Green. So I need to behave and not get super fucking bloated. 
Do I eat them with a fork? Yes. I don't think we've been announced the host of WrestleMania. I don't think. Were we? I didn't go to WrestleCon. I went to something called the Squared Circle Expo. It's in Indianapolis. It was amazing. It's so much fun. You picked the wrong time to cut. You should have started a week later. Yeah. Beginning of... I started, like, beginning of January. I never needed to do it all. Look at the fit. Is that an homage to Beyonce? Cute. You think Lil Wayne? Match flow is sponsored by oh, I'm the host of WrestleMania. No. Triple threat of protection. Are you sure with you home, auto, and more. Most people will have no idea who I am. <laughs> I wonder if there will be a return for Mania. Any takers? Probably. Oh my god, the Weagle. Is Santi the host of WrestleMania? He has a better shot than me. You're cooking boneless ribs and fruit salad? That sounds good. That sounds good. That sounds good. Mm-hmm. Weagle Mania? Oh my god. Weagle Mania running wild. Running wild. You're probably ordering pizza. I typically do. And my salon is having a, a dinner at a, like a place with good pizza. Friday, Who's a host of my stream? Me! Hello. Mm -hmm. Now, everybody knows that I have the longest history with damage control. You know, ever since they stepped in the ring with me two years ago at SummerSlam, I have been fighting for my life, fighting them every single week, time after time, me, myself, and I. And honestly, it got so exhausting that I wanted to give up until my good sis Naomi showed up, and she reminded me exactly what I was fighting for in the first place. No, oh, I'm out of pretzels. And you know what, sis? Damage right, Control thanks. has been doing way too much for far too long, and it is time to stop them. Yeah, girl, because they turned you every which way but loose. You was getting dragged left and right each week. I was like, no, not the brain. Get off her brain. Okay, hold up, hold up, because they was dragging <laughs> you left and right, up and down and all around, too. We in this because of you. What was you thinking? I wasn't. But Jade, what are you? Is, regardless, we going to WrestleMania. Get the picture. The fact of the matter is, B, regardless, we needed each other. I needed you. You needed me yes. to take There should be tippy time at Mania. Can y'all have some patience? Because we were <clears throat> outnumbered. You know what? You're right. You're right. But Just you know what? What Devin's control is? on the main roster. God. Them girls been at the top for so long that they, got, they done got a little too cocky. You know, they, they took out almost everybody that tried to help me, so the last thing that they was expecting was for somebody else to come through. Oh, oh. <clears throat> and lucky for Sorry, us, Brian, I got it. that comes in the form of the newest SmackDown superstar and our WrestleMania tag team partner, Jade Oh, Cargill. okay, here she comes. Oh. <laughs> She's Beyonce too. Nice. Her entrance is dope, man. A bona fide superstar. I 
I have chills. Girly pop. Never in my life. Never in my fucking life. <laughs> Man. <laughs> Here for a little bit. Jade is a specimen. She is. for a showdown at WrestleMania. Look at the star power in the ring now. The EST, uh. the glow, and Jade Cargill. I actually really like the lights behind her. People should always turn on their flat their camera phone flashlights behind her for her entrance. That should be a thing. That'd be so fucking cool. Wells Fargo Center is absolutely captivated. I don't think Because it like has like the star coming off of it. Statue of David just for a t-shirt off. Even he can't compete with Jay Cargill. Thank you, Bianca, and thank you, Naomi. And I want to give a special shout out to Damage Control. Because mm. you know, those, oh, okay, okay, okay. Those women stepped up you and, got those stepped bitches? On and gave me the best opportunity. I didn't see Rhea's new hair yet. No, actually. To show the WWE Universe what Jade Cargill is all about. And with the EST and the glow, the big three, we're gonna show why there is no damage control. So this message is for you, Asuka, Kyrie, Dakota. You are now in the eye of the storm. <laughs> oh my god oh we gotta get rid of this thank you brian literally but we're on a collision course wrestlemania saturday six woman tag team action damage control damn dog against naomi cargill and bel-air the show is still going yeah it's 907 we have another hour I'm whooping up on my little big brother Solo Sakur. Tomorrow night, I'm whooping up on my twin brother Jimmy Uso. But check it out though, if you want Solo Sakur to get this yeet down, then let me hear you say yeet. Yeet. New catch report. Sounds like Philadelphia. Oh yeet. All right. Oh, someone said New Catch Republic ain't it. Give them a chance. They just freaking started, dog. Oh my god. Look, they look, they look great. They look great. Predictions are up, everybody. Go ahead and place your wagers. You give them, you gave them five years in NXT. You have determined they're definitely not my thing. Okay. Well, that's all right. All right. It's fine. Do I want to see weed glasses? No. I don't. You like them just because they're English? That's fine. I know, I kind of miss... It's fight night! But they're good, they're good. I just don't like British strong style wrestling. It's fair. It's okay. It's okay. I'm not gonna lie, I usually have a hard time getting into their matches. Uh, I'm new here. What do I call the cutie on stream? Anyways, <laughs> you wonder what happened to Seamus? Oh, he's around. He's around. He's around. Uh, yes, boy. Yes, boy. Did I hear about the Bills trade? Yes. Diggs. Yes. Uh, hey, is Seamus still contracted with WWE? I think he is. I think. 
The finger, yeah, the finger, the finger break. Can we see Kevin? Oh my gosh, am I not enough for you? Can you do that water bottle trick that Action Andretti does? No. Definitely not, cutie. <laughs> you can call, you can compliment. I, I really do, I really do want to like stress this to you guys. Because sometimes, sometimes I get a little annoyed. I don't want to say annoyed, but like the amount of like defending of me in comment sections, sometimes I'm constantly telling other people I'm married. Like you can be married and still compliment people. Like that's fine. Like it, it is, it's fine. It's just when people say really like disrespectful shit, you know? I'm just being funny. Yeah, just like don't be weird. You can totally tell people that like you can compliment people. It's okay. Like it is, it is okay. Just don't be weird. <laughs> I am not a trick monkey. Thank you. Dance monkey, dance. No, do I think the Hardy Boys are coming? I don't know. I don't know. I do think it could be a possibility, but imagine complimenting people, right? Like you can compliment people. It's okay. We literally compliment people that are in the ring wrestling. You know, you just just don't be too much. You know, just don't be overboard. Um, Esports Game Girls, thank you for the resub. Happy five month anniversary. Can't wait for the Hall of Fame, even with Muhammad Ali, Bull Nakano, uh, The Rock's grandmother, and Paul Heyman. Yes, I am excited. Demon of Nine, thank you for cheering those thousand bits. How much damage does hair take with changing your color a lot? Um, it depends on what you're doing uh, and your hair texture. Really, those are two really important factors. Um, you know, if you're going from dark to blonde, dark to blonde, uh, your hair will be shit. Your hair will be shit. Like, don't do that. Matt announced his free agency this week. Oh. Sorry, Eminem. Sorry, Eminem. Tantas comprenden? What, Luis? Seamus is recovering from a shoulder injury. It's just been a while. Gosh, it's been a hot, hot minute. The TNA fan of me wants to see Motor City Machine Guns. Jeff can pay a fine for his contract to go to WWE. I feel like... I mean, they don't even have to be... They don't even have to stay in WWE. I just think... I feel like Tony Khan would let him make an appearance at WrestleMania. I feel like he would. You would like to see him close out his career with WWE? I think it would be better this time around. You have to remember the last time that they came back, you know, the... You call this morning to let you know. Dragon's not going to make it clear to tomorrow. What? You can no. Oh. Jason Ayers, everybody. What are you going to do? You Welcome back, Jason. Dominic and Santos all on your own. It just. Come here, come here, come here. Tranquila, tranquila, tranquila. Ready? Andrade is just going to sit. Tomorrow, I will be your partner. Fuck yeah. We all did prediction videos. All right. What are we going to do? Where what are we going to do? Did you hear? <laughs> I don't trust you. I don't trust yeah, you. I, mean, I don't and trust Andrade you. Is in. Carlito wanted it to be him. Tomorrow, <gasps> take down Santos and Dominic. Oh, you know we will. So you, you know this. we will, Carlito. You, you gonna get heal, Carlito? Right, Are we gonna get heal, Carlito? So many possibilities. So many possibilities. Sucks I got put in timeout as such a great fan. Carl, I don't know what happened. I don't know. It's fine. It's fine. Please don't stress me out tonight. I'm doing I'm trying really hard. Well, this is WrestleMania SmackDown, which is sponsored by Progressive Insurance. Save when you bundle auto, home, or motorcycle insurance. Gonna need a lot of apples, a lot of apples. If you could see any former wrestler return at Mania, who would I want? Like former wrestler? I mean, they're always wrestlers. I, Stone, I want to see Stone Cold show up. I'm not lying. Part of me wants to see Stone Cold show up. No, lie, Dustin Rhodes. Got an RKO for his trouble. Yet you have to admire Dustin. that divine arrogance, which simply will not leave the team. I can't imagine that. Theory and Waller are feeling too great about themselves after being on a wild goose chase all the way next door to the Lincoln Financial Field. We are back inside Tyler Bates shoes. Center in Philadelphia. Are weird. Wait, 
This was a pre-record? No. This is live. Theory drops it says live on the screen. For once it wasn't Theory and Waller getting RKO, so perhaps nice. they are feeling pretty good for once. This is a massive opportunity for Carl Johnson is thinking because you kept saying it was your birthday. He do what he does best. I'm sorry. I'm all fired up here tonight. Tag made. Tyler made now for the second. Assisting your stream and dreams of everyone you met is great. Well, thank you, Carl. Just don't, don't, don't spam the chat. Tell me it's a birthday. Polo Ting Ting, thank you for the resub. Happy seven month subversary. That Carlito turn incoming. I am thinking the same, and I am honestly here for it. No new unbanned requests. That's my favorite part of the day. Confidence builder Tyler still rolls in. He's he's in YouTube sometimes. Injuries, less than 24 hours before the he hangs out year. elsewhere in chats that he's not banned, but he's banned in quite a few of them. The case, Corey, but there's an argument to be made that you want to stay sharp ahead of the biggest match of your career. Oh, oh. man, that was extreme sharpness from the left fist. Wow. How about that for athleticism? That was a little too close for comfort there, Mr. Bates. The big strong boy almost ended up in your lap. Wow. Like Larry Waller did in my King Bash, just thank you for the resub. Happy two months anniversary. Thank you for hopping on board with us for another month. I appreciate you. As Grace and Waller. Oh. Unique Ooh, good. by the Aussie icon, Theory and Waller. What are we doing with them? What are we doing with them? You, do so, I don't know why I can't get words out. Zach Fraga, thank you for the resub. Happy 10 month subversary. Been watching since last WrestleMania. Congrats on all the success this year. Thank you so much, Zach. And we are not done. What match is on so I don't spoil it for y'all? We are in the middle of New Catch Republic and what the fuck are Grayson and Austin called? What, what even are they? Can Theory turn face already? I know. I'm kind of with, I'm honestly kind of with you on that. My glasses look cool. Thank you. They help me see. They help me see. A town down under. Whoop. You're going to clash at the castle in June. That's exciting. I considered it. I looked at uh, flights, but I don't have a passport either. And I need to stop spending money. I need to stop spending money. Boring episode. Zoo, I don't know what to do with you right now because I, I disagree with you. This has been the, the first kind of lull in the night for me. And even then. Uh, I saw that you're a vendor slash guest for CTV2. First, congrats, but have you been there before? Uh, I am going as a content creator. Actually, I actually have my badge right here. Um, I've never been before, but I'm going with a group of my friends that have been before. And I am very excited. And I have a convention under my belt already this month. So I'm feeling pretty good. I'm going to kind of plan a little bit, get some get some uh, ideas for content. I might interview some people. So I'm, I'm, I'm excited about that. Um, we don't need no stinking badges. Badges. We don't need no stinking badges. Uh, do you guys know the wheezing laugh? What do you mean? Uh, WWE should release Theory, and I believe he could do the Drew McIntyre route back. Kelsey, don't, don't, don't wish people to lose their jobs. That's that's not cool. It takes six weeks to get a passport. Could take longer. Could take less. Really depends. Uh, I've talked to people lately that they're not they're not super backed up. So I've had people get them in three weeks, and I've also had people have to wait like three months. So it just really depends on where they're at. Um, I'm still hoping for, for Haley Williams to play Bailey. I don't think that's happening, buddy. She pretty much announced it on Twitter. What are your thoughts on the WrestleMania stage? I really like the WrestleMania stage. Um, the only point I saw someone make that I thought was valid was they wished that they would have incorporated like a liber like a Liberty Bell, like an actual like 3D Liberty Bell. I, I agree with that, you know, like maybe a Liberty Bell hanging over, you know, the ramp or something like that. That would that would have been cool. Um, but otherwise, I really like the colors. I, I like the throwback kind of WrestleMania down. on top. Um, the new I like the, the big XL, like, I, I, you know, and Pete Dunn right now, Wade. Waller I agree with that. I'm not going to tear it apart. I know there were a lot of people that didn't like it. And, you know, I, I get it if you think it's underwhelming. Easy didn't have me in timeout and A-hole did not burn for Love My Birthday Month and WrestleMania weekend. Okay, Carl. Just chill out, buddy. Thank you for being here. I appreciate you. But yeah, let it go. If you get timed out, just, just let it go. It's okay. Don't spam the chat. That was the rules. And instinctively, Theory went for the cover when Waller was legal. Now, Tyler I'm so excited this is going to be one hell of a mania. Me too. I'm so excited for it. The loquacious Grayson Waller. 
And look at this, Wade. Look at the power of Tyler Bates. Big strong boy. Big strong boy. Got to be able to fucking do that. Bates with a little bit of daylight to make a tag that is You didn't get a chance to watch my prediction video yet. Who did you pick for Cody Roman? Pete Dunn. I picked Roman. I'm gonna hope I'm wrong. Angst, I picked Roman fight, and I hope that I'm wrong. Way, and he's about to get I will tell you that. The bruiser weight is legal, and here it comes done. A man consistent. Your wishes that one day WrestleMania is here in Chicago. And, and when I'm back in Chicago, I feel it. I hope that it's in Chicago as well. Because that is my backyard. So yes, would love it to be in Chicago. What am I looking forward to most this weekend? Anything in particular? I, I don't even know that I feel... I'm, I'm really just in it for, like, the entire experience, you know? I, uh... Oh, God, here we go with the finger thing. You're, like, three hours from Chicago, so that's doable. Yeah, I'm, like, an hour 20. It's going to be Minneapolis. I mean, that's what I'm hearing. It has not been confirmed yet. I'm sure we'll get that announced probably this weekend. Um, I am... I have a direct Waller, flight from my city to Minneapolis. So, Waller JR757, thank you for the resub. Happy five months anniversary. Thank you for being here. Uh -oh, <laughs> it's this right here. The finger thing instantly takes me out of any Waller match I watch. Tony, I'm finding that I am agreeing with you. Mm -hmm. I, I am, I'm finding that I'm agreeing with you. I, I get it. I get where you're coming from right now. <laughs> I do, I do. I just realized I don't have my overhead left. Oh, yeah, I do. You're here right now? You probably can't even hear me. If you're there, there's no way you can fucking hear me. You have a feeling 41 is going to be in Las Vegas. I'd seen that reported somewhere. Oh, that's it. Wait, wait, what the fuck? Judgment Day. Dominic's just everywhere tonight. Are they taking out New Catch Republic so there's a surprise team? No, they were my prediction to win. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Oh, now I see mommy's hair. I like it. Girly Pop got extensions. Fuck yeah, good for you, girl. We got to beat y'all up. That just signed. Mommy's retaining. If Mania is at Vegas, you would definitely go. I'm not a big fan of Vegas. Extension check. From what I see right now, they look good. I'd have to see her closer up. But it is it is easier to blend a solid dark color like that versus Becky's. Becky's hair, it's, red is a, a, a difficult extension color to blend, I, I will say. But I mean, from here, it looks pretty damn good. Danny <laughs> looks like Pippi Longstocky. <laughs> Stop it! Stop it right now! <laughs> Undertaker. This has been happening a lot lately. SummerSlam at Allegiant was pretty great. Plenty of hotels around. Vegas just got so fucking expensive. It wasn't always like that. She's looking to take back control. <gasps> I'm no stranger to making history. Bailey. First ever women's tag team champion. First ever women's Grand Slam champion. But I decided it was time to create something unique and groundbreaking. Damage control. It's my girl. Okay. I gotta I gotta I gotta zone in. I gotta zone in. It's my girl. shared a vision of taking over WWE and we did you never saw Bailey younger is a quiet I love oh, Bailey. using simmer as the build-up song is wild I dig it I dig it I dig it damage control is on top of the world
What are your guys' predictions between Bailey and Eo? It wasn't about us anymore. I told you mine. In Pearl, you tell me yours. Friends, Kyrie, Sane, and Oscar, and I became an outcast somehow. You it does suck that Paramore night. couldn't come to Mania. I agree with you. Even after a record-breaking Royal Rumble win. Bailey's going to WrestleMania. Over one hour and three minutes, a new women's Royal Rumble record. You didn't believe in me. Ladies down tonight. <laughs> that was such a good moment. Ever since they came around, you turned your back on me. What happened? Bailey won't ever go back to Chicago? Why? Genuinely asking, is there like a specific reason? <clears throat> Hi, Marcus. Thank you, man. I don't know why. It sounded like that. Bailey went on X today to say she couldn't get Paramore. Yeah, I saw. Oh, so you predict she got Paramore to do her entrance because she said she couldn't? I keep questioning myself, like, what was Silly real? me for believing people. Was friendship real? Were they just using me? That's a great question, chat. Like, who do you think will have the best entrance for WrestleMania? That's a great question. I'm trying to think of who I think would. And I will do everything in my soul to break them. That's a wrap. Thank you, Eo. Kevin. <laughs> than I've ever been. I'm more focused than I've ever been, so thank you. And at WrestleMania... Kick her ass, Bailey! Eo's gonna learn the hard way. Why do I have chills? Ah! A woman I liked it. I liked it. Was that on? I didn't watch it, but was that on X earlier? I feel like she posted it. Um, you ever think that Dakota was supposed to be champion before injury? No, I have not thought that. It doesn't mean that it wasn't ever a possibility, though. Jay gets back up? Like, from who? Cody is losing, sorry to say. Uh, Carl, my prediction was that Roman wins. Uh, that's not what I want, and I hope that I'm wrong. But you're not gonna find me being a little whiny bitch about it. Like, I just... It's okay to be upset about it. Don't don't get me wrong. We, we can all totally collectively be upset. I'm, tr I'm trying to... I'm trying to learn how to be more heated about, you know, things, but I just... It's just not... It's just fucking not me. <laughs> it's just not me. What is WWE Speed? Uh, it's a show on Twitter now where they have, like, three-minute matches for the Speed title. And I did not get to watch the match, but I heard it was very good. Jay's gonna win. I predicted Jimmy. I feel like I'm gonna be really fucking wrong about a lot of things, probably. Most likely. You're cool with Roman winning? Oh my god, I just... You know you know the thing? You know the thing, though? I really don't want to fucking listen. Like, if... I almost, I almost hope that he doesn't, because I don't want to fucking hear it. I don't want to hear it. I'm literally just going to have to, like, turn off my phone for a whole day. I don't think I can handle it. I don't. Crybaby is going to crybaby. People have been calling me a crybaby. I'm like, what the fuck did I do? How did I, how did I get into that? How did I get lumped into that? The fuck? I didn't tweet that hashtag. Not even once. Not even once. I don't run with the pack, dog. I don't run with the pack, you know? I'm not a herd mentality kind of gal. You should know that about me. You should know that about me by now. Do I like Cody Rhodes? Yes. Do I want him to win? At this point, yes. Did I predict him winning? <laughs> no. <laughs> Could I be wrong? Yes. I'm not one of these fuckers out here that's like, there's absolutely, literally no way that this person is losing like okay rikishi is going to show up for the uso match i hope so i don't know that he actually is but i kind of hope so it'd be cool or another member of the fatu family you know 
If Roman wins, what does Cody do? Have him win three rumbles in a row? I don't know, Matt. I don't, I don't right know. Was that an attempted British accent? I don't know, was it? If you're not a Cody crybaby, you have to throw the ones up to prove it. No, because I don't fucking acknowledge the tribal cheek. <gasps> Could you be a crybaby? Yes, don't mock me. You think you're funny. Do I think MJF will show up? No, I don't think that MJF will show up during the Cody versus Roman match. No. Sorry, that was really, really loud and heated of me. No. <laughs> Am I a Roman fan or a Cody, Cody crybaby? Neither. Did you know you can be neither? Yeah. Cha. Cha. Totally did killer <laughs> cena will show up during the match i reckon we could get cena we could get dustin we could get fucking hogan we could get uh who's the other one stone cold like we could and then like we could get none of them why is more politicians on my screen and me just just put me out of my misery right now aggressive much i like to be aggressive be aggressive be be aggressive aggressive dustin is signed with aew that does i want you guys to understand something i need you guys to understand something okay in this current climate and era that we are in despite all of the shit that has been said back and forth between wwe and aew this week that you don't know whether is actually like real heat or not because you don't actually know it is 1000 percent possible and I believe it from Tony Khan, that Tony Khan could allow someone that has contracted with him in AEW to make an appearance at WrestleMania for a specific reason. You do not know these people personally. You don't know what the situation is between any of them. It is, a, it is totally a possibility that is something that could happen. We need to stop acting like we know fucking everything because we don't. Okay. Thank you for coming to my TED Talk. Have a great night. Yeah. Also my prediction. Why am I doing this? Don't know. I like the jacket. Stop yelling. I'm not yelling. This is just how it talk. The champ, 39. Thank you for that super chat. Hey, pretty girl. Huh? Looking forward to WrestleMania tomorrow. By the way, you look lightheaded and have a stuffy nose from your angle. Anyway, see you on YouTube tomorrow. I look lightheaded and have a stuffy nose. I do not really have a stuffy nose. And how does one look lightheaded? How do I look lightheaded? God damn. God damn. Fatality. Holy shit, man. What I do to deserve that? <gasps> oh no, I'm gonna faint. <laughs> Is it because I don't have makeup on? Do I look sick? That's my favorite. That's my favorite. When you don't wear makeup, you're like, oh man, you don't look good. Thanks, bitch. <laughs> Thank you for calling me ugly. Once upon a time, there was an ugly barnacle. He was so ugly that everybody died. The end. Okay, sorry. LA Knight's talking. <laughs> I got the ugly! Yes. Let me talk to him. <laughs> yes, he paid $5 to say that to me. <laughs> AJ Styles. <laughs> Boo! Emo Steve Blackman, boo! LA Knight! <laughs> Look at it! WrestleMania! Yeah! 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 yeah. Two nights! And I'm feeling fresh! As I want Five dollars from a softy fan. <laughs> With the man that some call the phenomenal one. My name's not Breezy, my name's Wheezy, and I'm not heated. I'm just having a good night. I have energy. I need to listen to what's AK, being said. I do think you're phenomenal. Matter of fact, I think you're phenomenal at not showing up. 
I think you're phenomenal at running away. And this okay. Sunday, you'll be phenomenal at getting stomped out by the... Oh, I just choked by who? Gum. That's why you don't chew gum and talk on the microphone at the same time. <laughs> yeah, by the man they call a megastar. So here's how it goes down. I'm not going to say There's anything. There's no more time for running. There's only time for crying. So go ahead and grab your crying towel, dummy. Yeah. yeah. You should be right at home doing that. Because ever since you came back, all you've been doing is crying about me. And what you should be doing is you should be thanking me. Thank you. You should be bowing at the altar of L.A. Night. Yeah. Because whenever I put the boots to you, I actually get people talking about you. Yeah. I actually make you interesting. Well, Sunday night, I'm going to give them plenty to talk about. Because yeah. I'm not just going to put the boots to you. Yeah. I'm going to give you three the hard way as I boot you straight through the uprights like Jake Elliott. Yeah. And you, Philadelphia, the whole damn world will know whose game this is with everybody saying. Yeah. yeah. No, AJ? Did you guys see them have an altercation at WWE World? Swallowed his gum. How is my Vyvanse today? Why are you asking me about my Vyvanse? That's fine. Hmm. Over the last few months, it's been the same story. Y'all attack us. Y'all attack us, and y'all attack us. BFAP's talking. BFAP's talking. But you know what? On Sunday, WrestleMania night two, there'll be nowhere to hide. No rules to hide behind, no corners to be peeking. We're gonna finish this. In a Philadelphia street fight. Bobby in the hoodie just. The dark side. <laughs> what? <laughs> this weekend. You love Lashley, but I do not care about this match. <laughs> That's okay. Would I like to be called up to the main roster from NXT? I'm not in NXT. I'm a streamer. <laughs> Predictions are up, everybody. Go and place your wagers. Por favor. Bobby got the swag. Oh, got my swag on. Oh, EC dub. EC dub. Solo keeping the streak tonight. I feel like going into WrestleMania, his streak should be broken. I feel like Jay. I feel like Jay should. Will that be what happens? I don't fucking know. Sancho's glasses. Am I ready for WrestleMania? I'm ready! I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. For WrestleMania. Get ready to job solo. This is just what we do now. We just call, like, we just call everyone. Did I take ibuprofen already? I don't feel like I did. I don't feel like I did. Did you guys see me take any ibuprofen? <laughs> I know. I know. I don't, I would lose my head if it wasn't attached. I didn't do the thing. If you lose, you're a job or you have to 100% success rate. Cornholio. I need TP for my boo. I did see that Cody's tour bus caught on fire. Yes. No one's telling me if you guys saw me take ibuprofen or not. Did you guys see me? Nope, that's why you're lightheaded. <laughs> am I okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Do I not seem okay? I actually am really, I'm feeling really great. I'm just very excited about this weekend. I'm very excited about a lot of the things going on. Um, yeah. Easy. I think you missed my question. Do you want to be called up to the main roster? I just said no. 
I'm not, I'm not an NXT. Armor Fist, I think I missed your resub, but happy four month subversary. He says, happy WrestleMania weekend, everybody. Thank you so much. Why do I need ibuprofen? I'm just sore. My, my legs hurt smoke. I don't, I don't do that. I don't do that. It's just not my thing. I don't really like it. I know, shocker, right? <laughs> People, why am I sore? Uh, because I'm over the age of 30 and I lift weights. You didn't see me take any? Thank you, Tracy. won't come out of the bottle yeah my knees my knee hurts my right knee hurts Aleve works better than ibuprofen that's the same thing Aleve and ibuprofen are the same thing the more you know the more you know shame Rhea going to beat my favorite superstar becky lynch but i love Rhea also i like both of them too damn sorry what did you say I have to be sorry, I was just answering. There are days I wish I did drink. Thanks, YouTube. <laughs> I mean, I'm going to have a couple drinks this weekend. You'll, yeah. I don't really like to drink and stream. That's not my thing. A jobber is a wrestler who loses matches consistently. Thanks, Dave. I'm fully aware of that. I just think it's overused in the community. I think it's overused in the community, and I th I personally feel like people that aren't in the industry shouldn't use those terms a lot. Like, obviously, like, whatever, we can say them, but, like, to consistently just call people that fucking lose a match a jobber, like, shut shut up. That's stupid. I'm so tired of that. I'm honestly so tired of that. Like, well, since when did so-and-so become a jobber? Shut up. <laughs> the more you know... Well, I'm a teenager, so I can't drink. I mean, you you should not. It's it's against the law. But like, do they? Yes. Did I? Of course, never. Wheezy after two drinks is gonna be like, all right, listen. Some of y'all suck. I'm. I listen. Th the pipe bomb that I would drop on all of you and the wrestling community, they are not ready for. I would get in so much trouble. You thought Aleev had naproxen in it as well? Oh, it might actually. No responde. Okay, you will lose. What in the hell does that mean? <laughs> I heard Wheezy is an angry junk. I'm actually a very fun one. Very, very fun. Jericho is right. Ban the word jobber and botch. I agree. All begins WrestleMania. Tired of it. I don't use those words. Mommy, I do not use those words. Champion, Rhea Ripley defends against the and look what I've been able to do by not using those words. Holy shit, right? Crazy. I know. Wild. Who would have thought? You want to see me drunk? Uh, I don't know that I would ever be drunk on camera. Or at least on stream. Because then you have to consistently like keep drinking. And then it wears off halfway through. And then I just get tired. And, you know. Oh. Don't, just don't drop a pipe bomb on us live stands because we are civilized. No comment. You may ask what my, my drink of choice is uh, vodka soda with lime. You're holding out to hear a pipe bomb rant at SummerSlam. We'll see how it goes. Wait, from me? Or from someone else? That drops pipe bomb. Pipe bomb. To do a job is different than a jobber, though. The more y'all know. Take Chaser before you drink alcohol. D-Rock, are you... Never. Take Chaser before you drink alcohol. Before, huh? Chase. Okay. Got it. The fuck is chasing? <laughs> <laughs> You're starting to get tired of this weekend song. I've really never been like a whole big fan of it. You have the Iowa basketball game on, but I had to come here for my SmackDown fix. You. Yeah, basketball is really fucking up uh, wrestling views, but it's okay. We're doing good. We're doing good. If you run in front of somebody, you're chasing them. Brain. Brain. Something people need because they can't handle the good liquor. I don't like. I don't like straight liquor. Like I don't. I don't like to do shots. Matt Riddle bought us a round of shots. 
Jackson this weekend, and I couldn't take it because I was not just going to take a shot of Jack. Like, no, thank you. I was bu- I bought him two rounds of green tea shots, and they were like, "What the fuck is this?" It's like, just take it. There's Jameson in it. <laughs> just do it. He's in the ring that whole time. I know it's just a title for the match, but I feel Rock versus Stone Cold or Hogan versus Andre were and might always be the biggest match at Red in WrestleMania history. I agree. Green tea shots are good. They're so easy to like take, and they're and they're you know they're Jameson. Like they're strong. They're wonderful. Did you have a knee injury previously? No, a hip. It's the same leg though. Your coworker got you a bottle of Jameson today in Holy Willie. Yeah, see, I don't like whiskey. I'm not a whiskey girl, but I can do the green tea shots. Those I can do. I like lemon drops. Yeah, I'm with you. Who said that? Cowboy shit? Yeah, I like lemon drops. That's that's my jam. I'm a little bitch. I'm just in my 30s now, and I, I want to enjoy myself. I don't want to, you know, die. Quick shout out to the mods cleaning the chat. That's Brian and Tracy over on YouTube. Brian and Tracy... Mods of the year. Thank you. You're amazing. You make my life so much easier. So much easier. Sugar free Kool Aid for the diabetics, baby. Hell yeah. Who thinks MJF will show up at Mania? Not me. Okay. Here we go. Solo in no mood for sportsmanship tonight. Big brother versus the big little brother. Another lesson like only big brothers can. I gotta ask you bad news. Are you on team yeet or team no yeet? No yeet. I am firmly in the no yeet camp. I think Jay Uso made the biggest mistake of his sorry. Damn Wade. His back on the bloodline. Things have not gone particularly well ever since for him. Tricky on the job and still feels like to be a marked man in WWE. Here comes main event, and Solo shuts him down. Never forgave Solo after he thumbed Cody. Ah! I don't know what the sound effect was, but it just sounded right. Oh, not on the apron! Ow! No! Are we already going to commercial? Are we already going to commercial? So kidding me. Drew is bringing his broken dreams entrance. Carl, you better fucking hope. You better fucking hope. Because I have had to hear this shit. Has it been two years? No, I haven't been doing this for two years. Okay, so a year. Every pay-per-view, every match that Drew McIntyre has. Broken dreams. Broken dreams. Oh my God, we're going to get broken dreams. Oh my God, Clash the Castle. Broken dreams. Oh my, just, every, just every time. And then it doesn't happen. Every time. <laughs> Keenan Scott, thank you for that super chat. Wish less than zero by weekend was the theme again. Can we just move on from like weekend themes? No, just biggest troll was at Clash at the Castle. <laughs> Has it been three years? They say Drew was having a special entrance. Tracy, it better fucking be Broken Dreams. Cause I don't, I don't, I don't, it better be. It better be, man. I want it to be done. I want it to be done. I'm kind of glad they pushed my eye surgery. I would have missed WrestleMania, but I feel like Steve Buscemi on Mr. G's. When is, when is your surgery? Uh, looking forward to watching Mania this weekend with you, Weezy. Thanks for being here, Stan. I'm excited to watch it with you guys this weekend, too. I just realized that I never changed the sub goal back to 50. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> it's at 100. If it's not Broken Dreams, Weezy gonna riot? I'm, I, it needs, I don't even care. I just want people to, to stop. I don't know what it, oh, it, it was supposed to be 4-2. When, when is it happening now? Do they get it scheduled? Am I still beefing with Santi? <laughs> I was never really beefing with him. We were trying to have fun. And then we were trying to have fun. And then like people just suck the fun out of everything. Like people suck the fun out of everything. You know? People were really mean to me. Um, and I couldn't handle it. <laughs> have Creed perform. Honestly, that would slap. That would be so good. 
a smackdown from a sold out Wells Fargo Center in Philadelphia. You're so right, Tony. Uh, Keenan, thank you again for another super chat. Taylor Swift themes up next. Keenan, come on. And bad news, this all takes place come on, come on. Four hours before Jay does battle with his twin brother at WrestleMania Saturday. Yeah, Why can't they do picture in picture like NXT does? Uh, it depends on the network and, and certain things like that. Destroyed by his Sonny younger brother. the best Weezy I know. The street him. champ Solo Sokoa reminding Jay Fuck him. why he earned that name. The little bro who grew up bigger and meaner Seems like than you and Top Dollar are great friends. He's a good Dollar's a Dollar's a great guy. I he is a good friend. He's a good dude. Serious. You never want to be on the wrong end of the assassin mentality possessed by Solo. Ugh. A man of few words, My neck hurts. Drew's special entrance should be CM Punk themed. So I agree with that. I think that would be fabulous. Guys, we're getting closer to Hall of Fame. You so excited? I know. And we get to see what everyone's wearing for Hall of Fame too. Now, are they doing it here again? Like, are they, or is it somewhere else? Weezy, was that you in the TikTok Avengers video with Cody? It was me, yeah. Ace, Ace of Steel had asked me if he asked all of us for permission to put us in it. He'd done it a while ago. He must have been working on it for a while. Do I think Shayna or Chelsea would do a plug for me at Mania? No. No, I don't believe so. And I wouldn't expect anybody to. Solo just, oh my God, just chucked Jay in the midair. Main event was Did you believe they're doing it here? Okay. Enough to continue this onslaught. Weezy and Santi were singing F is for fun and y'all ruined it. You ruined it. We were trying to have fun. And then I couldn't handle it. That's okay. He apologized. It's fine. Give me a big girl. When do we find out who won the Slammies? Tomorrow? Or maybe tonight. I don't know. Well, the mind on Solo yeah, when are the Slammies? You guys know? With that attack, Same place, SmackDown. Yeah, so here. Right for the now. Jay, yet again, lining up his younger brother. The Slammies are Sunday? Okay, cool. Because I actually wanted to record a video of my predictions for it. I started a script for it, which you guys did not like my script. Bad week to hard lunch reading scripts. This man, Jey Uso's WrestleMania dream. Samoan spike, no. Super kick. To almost no effect. Oh, it's at WWE World this year. And that is a slap in the face to Roman Reigns himself. A main event making the climb to the high rent district. Uso splash. Fuck. And it's Jimmy Uso. Jay's twin brother. Should've seen, sh should've seen that coming. My dumb ass was like, Jay needs, Jay's gonna, Jay needs to win. As if, why didn't, why didn't I anticipate this? I, fire me. Fire me right now. No. Ramen noodle hair, ramen noodle head. Here comes a spike. Good night, made a bad way to it. Oh, it's Cody and Seth. Oh God. Oh God. Oh God. And he's wearing. Are you wearing the fox? Seth, what the shit are? Fozzy Wazzy was a bear. Fozzy Wazzy had new hair. But Fozzy Wazzy wasn't Fozzy. Fozzy? <laughs> what in the hell are you wearing? <laughs> gonna pay for that you're gonna pay for that you could see jay being the reason cody loses on sunday i i i'm with you i could see it too so many so many possibilities possibilities jimmy's not getting out of this trouble that easily same with that trick <laughs> he said not i Oh. 
Jimmy Uso. It's not five minutes. It's still five minutes. What if Jay stopped him? I'm kidding. Turnabout is fair play. All is fair. Quit Long stalling, Long Seth. And tomorrow night, Rollins You're going to get sweaty. You're a literal fox. Wrestling is cool, dude. You right, Tony. Jay. I'm zoning in on Jay here. Let's see what he's doing. Hmm. What are we gonna talk? Years of WrestleMania. Can you feel that? Someone's like, can you feel the mana? <laughs> about the pressure. Tomorrow night, myself, my partner, my friend, the world heavyweight champion, Seth Frickin' Rollins. Mm -hmm. We are going to slap the final boss, The Rock, so hard that his ego lifts out of his body like his soul, and he remembers what it's like to be the people's champion. We are going to shatter the foundation of the bloodline, and on Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. I am going to dethrone the tribal chief, Roman Reigns. Thrones again, huh? Remember that one time you destroyed a throne on that other show? I do. That was pretty cool. <laughs> Big pop. <laughs> Big pop. That's right. I am fighting for every moment that has defined me, for every single fan who has believed in me, for everyone who ever dreamed out in the open. And my dream was to become champion. And this Sunday, know this, that when one good story ends, an even better one begins. Rose knows the stakes. It all begins tomorrow. The showcase of the immortals. Philadelphia. I don't know, guys. Live on Peacock. I don't this know. Weekend, I don't know. Saturday on FS1. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what to expect. But how good is it that we're doubting? Amazing. I mean, some people are not are not doubting. Some people are not doubting. Some people are confident as shit for no reason at all. You get a you get a 50/50 shot. You got a 50/50 shot of being correct, you know what I'm saying? Um I'm going to go to the bathroom before Hall of Fame starts, okay? I'm going to take a little break. I'll be right back. I was going to show you Weagle, but I will actually give you Kevin. Hang on. Oh, yeah. Don't go nowhere. We're, we're streaming Hall of Fame. Yes. We ain't going nowhere. We ain't going nowhere. But I got to take a break real quick. I'll be right, I'll be right back, okay? I'm going to hurry. Oh shit, starting. No, it's not. It just was a buffering thing. I'll be quick, I'll be quick.
then. Now, acknowledge me. The KFK, you can't see me. Forever. Together. And now, WWE presents Countdown to the WWE Hall of Fame Induction Ceremony. Oh, look at Ladies that impeccable timing. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the WWE Hall Eagle. of Fame Class of 2024. My name is Peter Rosenberg here at the Wells Fargo Center in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Right now, we are oh, preparing setting up. what was an epic SmackDown to be an epic night. It's three here in the UK now inducted. for Hall of Fame, baby. So I'm ready for a Hall of Fame. Incredible, worthy inductees that. into the Hall of Fame. I am so excited. Of course, as you know, we are in Philadelphia. We and are in Philadelphia. The Hall induction of, fame. of Hall of Fame. Such up an quick. epic night for it everyone. Says 2.5 in the hours. WWE Universe hell, to get to celebrate a man who was once. We can do it. Hall E. Paul Dangerously, the Dangerous maybe Alliance, it won't be, ECW, maybe it won't be and now, of course, maybe, maybe, the maybe Wise Man. Long. What an awesome night. He'll be inducted by Roman Reigns, the Tribal Chief. And now it's I'm told my broadcast by colleague, Wait, wait, Kayla, is, is that you? Else. Kayla Braxton, backstage. Hey, hey thanks, Peter. Uh, listen, it's already been a Sorry, they're just getting a logo up. Hey, Weezy, quick question. Has Kevin ever been to Candy Mountain? No, that's Charlie. We had to fire Charlie. Uh, like I said, it's gonna be truly grabbed an energy drink. I grabbed a granola bar. Yeah, Friday best. It's in the same stadium, technically same set. Yeah, they're just moving stuff around. But everyone is just excited to see Oops, each other. Oops, I'm still recording. Union of sorts, uh, legends, Hall of Famers alike. Uh, it's, it's just going to be an incredible night overall. You can feel the energy. And it's really exciting. Feel the to, mana. Uh, give the respect where it's due to. You can the feel class, the mana. The WD Hall of Fame yeah, I will class. pay attention so, uh, to, you think you're gonna give respect to Paul the chat again oh, here in just a sec. I'm just <laughs> putting a little love <laughs> you know up what? for you us. Time will you on the spot. I'm sorry about <laughs> that. <laughs> oh, All right, guys, uh, we have a, a lot to get to yes. back here. So we're going to go ahead and throw things uh, to Peter. Thank you guys. Peter Rosenberg. It's going to be an incredible night. And let's Ready. take a look at the class. Do you have a crush on Kathy? I have a crush on Kathy. You know how excited you get for Christmas the morning and open all your presents and then the excitement is gone and you have nothing to look forward to? I hope after WrestleMania that Roman isn't Reigns. how we feel. Talk about special. We just found out I feel that way about like ago. any big kind of the event really. Any big thing that I do. Luckily, that's that's why I just consistently have a bunch of shit going on. Into the Hall of Fame, all the incredible things mm -hmm. that she did in Hawaii. Kathy is killing in that dress. A, a Looks fire. She came from Japan. She Chef's kiss amazing. From Alundra Blaze and took the WWE by storm. Bull Nakano will be inducted. How into old the is Bull Nakano? And of course, the guys who held the titles at WrestleMania One. Former stardom owner Rashi Ogawa and Julia and are both backstage at SmackDown in Philly. The Hall of Fame. It is a completely cool. stacked night, and of course we can't forget uh, some people who are no longer with us. But I'm still learning about Julia. Thunderbolt Patterson to be honored tonight. Bullis 53, course, she retired in 2006. Oh, first geez, first fucking the same age as Rock. Iconic celebrities to help Jackie's put hot. On the map. They're all the hot. Let's do it. Muhammad Ali going into Shit the Shit you not, though. They gave a five-second this that Let's showed her in text saying this is bliss. Like, what? Hall of Famer, an icon. Kayla Braxton with Trish Stratton. Wonder how do you put the Here's logos up and everything? Magic. It sounded like. I'm actually am sitting by with Trish. WWE Famer, Trish Stratus. This is such a special night. I know it's got to be incredible for you to be back here to see the, the new class get inducted. Uh, what do you remember from, from your night? Oh, it's the most special night. I mean, to be appreciated and acknowledged by your colleagues. And of course, the WWE Universe is so special. And Thank yeah, you, Trish, in the chat, please. Uh, Thank you, Trish. It's just, it's Thank you, special. Trish. And WrestleMania. 40 here in Philadelphia. Oh. Uh, what do you remember about your first WrestleMania? Bray's dad WrestleMania is going in tonight. Yep. was my first one. I remember a fond, fond memory. I was, you know, it was a special night. Of course, my first WrestleMania, and I was being chased by a, a cold. I'm just cold. So that was so special. <laughs> Is there anything You're gonna be in next, then Weezy commentary. I'm not. Yes. Uh, anything in particular? Well, I'm not, Carl. But it's okay. Um, yeah, this was actually what I was looking forward to. Was my interview with you, Kayla? So thank you. Uh, you know, dreams do come true. Woo! Am I a magician? Right, sure. Thank you so much. And now we're gonna throw it over to Kathy. 
Thanks, Kayla. I am joined by Natty. Natty. Natty, tell me about how excited you are for this weekend. Well, this is the biggest WrestleMania in WWE history, WrestleMania 40, and I'm so excited. No, it's Natalia, like, shit talk. I love Natty. The community has come together to celebrate this magical moment. If you don't so respect Natty, huge. fuck you. Yeah, and you have a handful of family members who are already in the Hall of Fame. Tell me about those nights and how special this night is for them. Well, we have four Hart family members. I don't know what the hell she's wearing. And, um, for me, but I love Natty. <laughs> People that have paved the way for us is just everything. Um, I remember when my dad got inducted to the Hall of Fame. I wouldn't want to be a WWE commentator. I'd want to be an interviewer. I, knew that everything I would say ring announcer, was, but you know, being celebrated. So tonight, I would never want to be so compared to or try to announce at the same time to, as Samantha to have Irvin. Everybody so. really come together and honor those. I'd like to be an interviewer. The way for us. Yeah. And I know before this went live, you were talking about eat versus go. <laughs> She's a butler. What I'm the most excited about it's. We're in Philadelphia. It's a city of brotherly love. And of course, every 15 years, we have a brother versus brother match. Mm -hmm. My favorite WrestleMania match is Owen Hart versus Bret Hart, WrestleMania 10. Um, the match that I'm most excited about this year is definitely Jimmy versus Jay. Love the he don't give shit to Nath and instantly uh, give shit about her Uso's outfit. But in play, it, like, I wasn't being cool. mean. I just said I don't know cool. what she's wearing. But I'm definitely on Team Jay. <laughs> <laughs> you you made your call. You made your bet. Being giving shit is sitting here being like <laughs> Natalia's we'll fucking has, stupid. Uh, Natalia's fucking boring. That's what I mean. Uh, look who just uh, popped by. Oh, Philly Phil, clean it up. How are you feeling, today? dog? Uh, I, I'm tired. It's been a day. It's been a very very long day, and the Hall of Fame hasn't even started yet. But I am very much looking, looking crispy. To this. I'm here for the wise man, looking crispy Paul Phil. Okay. Uh, here for Thunderbolt Patterson. Huh. I'm here for everybody, really. I, I, this is. To me, this is the best time of year. This is my favorite event. And it is WrestleMania 40. We keep talking about how this is the biggest WrestleMania in the history of WWE. Why do you think it is so special? Because I think at WrestleMania 1, they weren't sure that there was going to be a WrestleMania 2. So for 40 years later, for it to be going strong, it's two nights, it's bigger than ever. Uh, I think that speaks volumes. He does look clean. Uh, are there any uh, matches that you're well, going to be keeping great. your eye on in particular this weekend? Well, the one that I'm going to be You guys stop it right for, now. I see you. Uh, uh, I know you know who I'm talking to. I, I, I click pro with them. Um, help me out. Uh, <laughs> we all we all blink it right now. Yeah. Uh, uh, Seth, Seth Rollins. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. He didn't really forget. I, I did. Kayla's no, nail. Kayla looks great. Kayla's know, nails uh, look yeah, awesome. Seth versus uh, his opponent. This guy, this guy. Well, listen, uh, CM Punk, we appreciate you stopping by. Uh, happy WrestleMania weekend. I would look forward to seeing a lot more. Did you, you was that Keith Lee? Thank you very much. All right, Kathy, <laughs> I think you got someone else for us. He's like, oh, you guys supposed to be there, Keith. What are you doing? I'm here with me, Chin. Ooh, well, Keith, that's why Keith was right there. What are you most excited for WrestleMania weekend? Obviously, I'm excited uh, for AJ Styles versus LA Knight. I'm waiting for this to finally get put to bed and for... AJ to come back to us, and of course the women, all the women. I don't I think he's coming back, baby. Yeah. Oh, wow. Who you going for? Who you going for? I'm going for you. For me? For right for now. You. I'm going for you right Nikki, now. Nikki, we're in purple. Actual question. What are you most excited for WrestleMania weekend? To see Bill Nakano get inducted. I think it's going to be so special, so incredible. What about you? I am excited to, to Bill, for that too. Bill. Bull, 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 of course. Bull, 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 bull. Raging. Bull. Bull. <laughs> but no, seriously, uh, Rhea versus fun. Becky, yeah. Eo versus Bailey. It's going to be off the charts. Eo versus Bailey who? Bailey. Eo. Bailey. Eo. Bailey. Bailey. Well, you guys are going to have to settle this outside. Bailey. You guys look gorgeous. Bailey. I'm going to send it over to Peter. As you can tell, everyone is geared up for an incredible weekend, and I am... We mentioned Bull just a few minutes ago. Bull Nakano, who's going into the WWE Hall of Fame tonight. I had the pleasure of talking to Alundra Blaze earlier, who told me an amazing story about Bull Nakano. Now, of course, where has Bull Nikki Cross been? I don't know. She graduated college, and then I don't know. Alundra <laughs> Blaze, but Alundra told me a story about she Bull Nakano. EO four shadows, OC never told going full ever. heel. Bull Nakano once saving her in the locker room. That'd be great, from Luna actually. Vachon. An amazing story. So apparently the relationship between Bull Nakano and Alundra Blaze, foes at times, friends <laughs> at times, but obviously very excited to see Bull Nakano go into the Hall of Fame. 
and so many amazing people as well. And someone who I know is excited to be here and looking fantastic, Kayla Braxton and Maxine Dupree. Thanks so much, Peter. You are looking absolutely Ooh, fantastic. Oh, Maxine! We can go Mommy, it's hello. Been amazing. It's always such a treat to be here and connect with everyone that I don't always get to see. So it's great to see the whole SmackDown roster and all the legends that are in town. Well, listen, you've already made quite a statement since uh, you joined us here at WWE, especially, of course, in the women's division. Uh, we keep talking about Bull McConnell as being the next. <laughs> was like, hey, yo. You see a she legend like that who paved the way for women here in WWE. Hi, babes. How much does that inspire you to, to do the same? I mean, it's crazy because when I first started the Performance Center, those were the matches we were watching and learning from. And those are the women that paved the way for girls like me to come here and get to have a career and have the opportunity to learn and grow. So it's something that I'll never take for granted. And to get to be here and to witness it, it's it's just so out of this world. And Maxine, I have no doubt that one day you are going to be the woman that the up and coming women are looking up to. So what legacy would you like to leave for the next generation when that time comes? Oh my goodness, that's a that's a big question. I'm like five you know, minutes just, behind WWE one, Live. We gotta have some good outfits. I wanna leave some good fashion behind, but on top of that, just a really, really great work ethic. And I hope that everyone I, has me. I touch and me, I leave a little bit better than I found them. That's amazing, you're incredible, Maxine. Thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, Kathy, who you got over there? I am here with Shayna Baszler, Shayna, who oh! looks absolutely incredible tonight. I do want to talk Hello. about and congratulate you. You had a match here in Philadelphia last night that you Hello. About that. Yeah, it was great. Had to go beat someone up like usual. Got the job done. Yeah. Well, what else? And cleaned up real great afterwards. Shoot. I mean, obviously, um, a, a part of what I am, which is a fighter and a woman wrestler, uh, so Bull Nakano and. Yes. Muhammad Ali being inducted. I'm looking forward to. Of course, Paul Heyman. You know, he's a he's a dude we see a lot around here. So excited about Hall of Fame this year. Yeah, and then you've had some incredible matches recently. Are you looking forward to anything on night one or night two? Um, obviously, I'm always interested in keeping an eye on who's got the women's titles on either side. So, like, you think they could be changing hands? I'm on the network too, guys. I don't know, I don't, man. I, don't know. I think. I think uh, Bailey's got a, a a lot to prove. I think with everything that's gone on, so I think that one's going to be the one if it changes hands. But you never know. You can never count out Becky. So we'll see. Old prediction. Well, who would you like to face in the future here in WWE? Uh, listen, if they have four limbs that I can tear off, I'd like to face them. It's just a bonus if they have a title around their waist too. Okay. Okay. And and do you have a specific title that you're eyeing? Uh, all right, if I'm being honest, me and Rhea like to beat the snot out of each other. We always thoroughly enjoy doing that, so I would never complain about getting the chance to beat Rhea, the snot out of Rhea Rhea push Shana. again. Are we going to push Shayna? Um, but Rhea, you know, Rhea, like Rhea. I said, everybody's got four limbs. Well, those are some fighting words for Rhea Ripley. And on that note, I'm going to send it to you, Peter. Uh, but please, I know nothing about Sign fighting me up. words. That's the, I mean, I am a one-time 24-7 champion, but I don't, I don't fight oh, often, Christ, Kathy. Uh, I'm so excited for the Hall of Fame class, and I cannot emphasize enough what this building feels the blonde like. blonde line is behind you, Shayna. Oh, fuck yeah, I am. Philadelphia means. You I mean, know I, I am. I have no love for Philadelphia sports teams. When it comes to the kind of town it You're is right for being You're right in sync with me, Peacock is Yeah, I mean, there's no way that anything's so ever going to be like 100% synced up, but I'll do the best that I can. How iconic that moment is going to be. And also think about how telling it is okay, it is about the relationship outside. with Roman Reigns okay. and his wise man that Paul Heyman selected Roman to induct him. Of course, we know the incredible do, do, do. list of superstars. CM Punk, of course, talking earlier. So I'm late to the stream, but thoughts on the Dragon Lee Andrade situation? So I think it's a double turn, this and it's going to be three on one by so the iconic. end. You'll, you'll um, I definitely think over over we, again, we get a Carlito turn. The history of the business, and tonight in a city that he helped put I, on Outside the of that, I, I don't see Andrade. I don't see Andrade turning. But it'd be kind of a cool moment if he did. Certainly a future WWE Hall of Famer, and also. Birthday girl, Charlotte. Woo! How are you doing? You Thank you so much. I'm so, I'm so happy, happy to see to her. Be here. And of course, it's a I WWE Hall of Fame, you. a very special night for so many Charlotte. legends. Uh, and I know there's a particular man getting inducted uh, tonight that I know means a lot what? to you. Two, really. Mike Rotunda, uh, one of the first producers when I came up on the road. He helped me so much. And last She's but not, not least, a wig. Paul Heyman. Um, Professionally, he means a lot to me, but even personally, like it could be 10 o'clock at night, anywhere I am, and he's there for me. Uh, he's almost like an happy uncle. Birthday, uh, I couldn't be more happy for him, and he means so much to so many people. 
I love we that. We love you, Paul. We love I didn't you. feel the earthquake. I'm in Indiana. Um, you were vocal about, uh, you know, here at WrestleMania, you're supporting your other uh, fellow WWE superstars. Yes. Uh, what have you been up to this My weekend? Been... <laughs> Don't drare, tranquilo. <laughs> uh, yeah, what have you been up to this weekend? So I was able to make a Phillies game. I've been to WWE World. I have my VIP tomorrow, and I think I'll be saying hello to some very special VIP ticket holders tomorrow. Woo! Can't wait to see you guys. There you go. Thank you so much, Charlotte. Thank you. Back to you, Kathy. I am here with oh, a man God. who got in a lot of cardio this evening. How am I are able to feeling, show the Grayson? screen? Because it looks this like... Is this is WrestleMania weekend. And other people honest, are. This has been the worst day of my life. Really? Santi's not. But around, a few other Randy people and are. Kevin, then we don't find him. Logan got beat up. And then we lose. Then the judges. And if Santi's not doing up. it, I question. We're supposed to celebrate. Everything. But I look good, right? I look real good. I'm now shining you. Not that that's hard. And you... now instead of beating up the legends, am I going to watch the eclipse? I, I mean, I probably so for, will. For once, Grayson Wall is going to be really nice. It's tonight. live on YouTube. Yeah, I know. When we were prepping for this interview. You were just your eyes were everywhere, just what wandering, seeing yeah, legends just... walking by. Who are you most excited to meet tonight but or shake hands? Con with? Man's doing well, you know, it. I just so saw that... Ken Shamrock walk past. You know, there's a few. ECW I know it's on YouTube, I and I think if it's on YouTube, I'm able to do it. But sometimes I don't know. Sometimes they do weird shit. Such an intelligent mind in professional wrestling has helped so many people backstage to see him get his due in Philadelphia is uh, really exciting to see. Well, I would never want to give you a compliment, but I do think we need to. I would never want to give you a compliment, but <laughs> Kathy, I haven't even drunk any beer out of him yet. That comes later, <laughs> I mean, those are you know? cool as fuck. You're going to do a shoey with. No, no, no. The shoey comes tomorrow night when me and Austin Theory win the tag team championships, but maybe not these shoes. I think I'll bring the golden shoey out, you know? Well, Grayson, thank you so I much. I hate that I like him as much as I do. I'm going to send it back to Peter, who I think has a special guest. <laughs> makes me so angry. I'm not overstating it when you talk about Andrew Hall. Bailey, babe. Long down the road. The color of that dress, mommy. Oh, my oh, goodness. Yeah. I mean, why not tonight? I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. After Sunday, She's I, wearing I, I friendship sure. bracelets that people I was about to say, so it's been a little while for you without the title. And you had the Royal Rumble win. Everyone is so excited to see you have this opportunity. Tearless with their drip up tonight. I mean, I could. Sitting two days away, but less than 48 hours. Bailey looks bad. Yeah, it's a lot of nerves, even just being here right now, because the crowd is so different than just like a normal SmackDown or Raw. This is the WrestleMania crowd from all over the world, so just hearing their excitement, their energy. They are having the talent around the ring, though. That's dope. All up in my throat. Um, you Her hair are looks a great. History buff. Bull Nakano going in. Obviously, we talk about what uh, the Four Horsewomen did for the business, of course, and you guys have been so iconic. But before that, there was this period where, you know, the, the women superstars getting a lot of time were few and far between. And Bull Nakano was a champion Billy and really helped usher an era. What can you say about Bull Nakano? So we always say how, how much the women paved the way for us, but, like, it really is... She is one of the women that you can go back Dawkins. and watch in any era. We can watch five years ago. We can watch. Today. I just like we seeing them in their element, like all dressed up. She oh, is oh. Side to her. She had such Luter a is. To her. I need to listen. To That's what I'm learning from her when I'm watching her matches back, getting ready for Sunday. The confidence that she carries, knowing who she is inside. That's the kind of stuff that you need to bring to WrestleMania. Well, good luck. You will bring it on Sunday, I'm sure. And uh, let's send it back to Kayla backstage. Luter is looking drippy. Right, I'm standing by with Bronson Reed. Uh, Big Bronson Reed also looking drippy. Little, maybe starstruck Ooh. tonight. Passing yes. by Legends. How has that been for you? I mean, it's been great. You know, uh, I'm ready for tonight. I'm a huge Bull Nakano fan. I think she's a trailblazer. I'm loving all the love wrestling. for Bull. Um, Paul Heyman is loving a huge that. Loving influence. that. On me as a fan of wrestling, huge ECW fan. He was in the ring earlier. Cleaned up WWE, quick. You know, he's been a big influence. Uh, I'm excited <laughs> to be here in Philadelphia, home of ECW. Tonight, he just won, the, won the, the Andre the Giant Battle, the Giant Battle, Battle Royal. Yeah. Rolling Thunder. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm very excited. Vicious Cave, thank you for that resub. Happy five months anniversary. Paul Heyman better be coming out to the ECW theme, especially since we are in the home of ECW. We're getting an ECW chant. We need multiple ECW chants. Surprise me, heard him yet. attention to the Intercontinental Championship match between Sami Zayn and Gunther. Whoever wins that, I'm excited for him. All right, you guys heard that. Thank you so much, Bronson. Kathy. Yep, I'm here with oh, Bianca drippy. and Bianca This is not news, but you guys are a good-looking couple. Well, this is your Oscars. You. You <laughs> That's literally. Every single time. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Well, you've got a big match tomorrow night, and Montez, you have a match night, too. What are the feelings right now? Are you just going to enjoy the evening tonight, or are you 
Ooh, your mind split. She got Are like you, the glittery you lips. focused on, on what's to come? Well, I always say I stay ready so I don't have to get ready, but tomorrow's a big night. I mean, this is WrestleMania 40. We're in Philadelphia, and I get to Tez, tag team very stoic, two, just letting two his amazing woman talk. women, Naomi and Jade, and hey. hopefully in this, like, this, this year-long feud with Damage Control. But tonight, we're going to enjoy it. We're celebrating. Mm. It's the Hall of Fame. We, we show up looking our best, and we're excited. Absolutely. This is the night where we take appreciation of all the hard work of everyone that has put forth before us and use that as motivation to put on great moments and is great performances Michael's and great matches in the future. Yes. So beforehand, thank you to all the Hall of Famers. It's a celebration tonight. A celebration. You can, the jewels on my hat. <laughs> it's like it's a celebration. I love the, the movement, the movement. Thank you. Well, thank you guys so Charlotte, much. Charlotte, walk out there because I hear Peter. the woos. All right, thank you so much, uh, Bianca, Montez, Kathy, and Kayla. You were fantastic. We'll see if Bianca ends Still up live, celebrating Weezy? this Okay, looking forward to watching Hall of Fame ceremony Jay with Clark. a fellow Yo, fan. Guys, yeah, come on in, man. Join us, join us. There's Samantha the with Rizzo Shea. Got Hurricane over there. Old Drew with the feather in his hat and his beautiful wife over there. I was peeping. There's Sammy. This is my Oscars. The induction class of it's, it's my fucking Oscars. Weezy looks tired tonight. I'm actually not. I just don't have makeup on. And I really don't think that I look that different without makeup on. I just don't have blush on. The world. I'm just sorry. Right Can you see some of the darkness the under my eyes? I don't care. The longest reigning champion in history. It's also 1021 and I'm... Perhaps the most unstoppable don't tell people they look tired. Champion of all time. And it is not boastful to say that I'm the greatest. You didn't it's notice, simply to be a fact, but I don't take that honor lightly. The I'll call you out. Pat Patterson, Don Morocco, and Tito Santana built this championship Sorry, prestige. Sorry, should be. Greats such as Ricky the Dragon, Steve. Just like, yeah, this Brooklyn one dude Hart. said I look dizzy. Put their dizzy. souls on the mat to defend it. For you to be a champion, you have to be perfect. Easy, you look fine. Like Don't Mr. lose it on a random comment. I'm not losing it. Root, Just if someone's going to talk about my appearance, I can fucking to reply to it, to you know? The history They're trolling. The no, it's literally someone that has be been rich, here the whole time. But it ends. Just don't think they know any better. When I look into your eyes, and if you would be honest to yourself, you don't believe you can beat me. So whatever don't think you need I've to seen do, you with your glasses dreaming, on. Yeah, I um. Keep on doing it. I don't normally wear my glasses when I'm streaming. They kind of hurt my nose a little bit. Like they kind of dig reality. into my nose. So I, 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 don't, I like to wear my contacts, but it's just more comfortable when I'm watching for this long after having a long day to, to have my glasses on and not my contacts. You can't beat them. It just works better. The ring of the road. Which induction am I looking forward to, Weezy? I'm looking forward to... I didn't cut it off. Oh, US Express. Um, I'm looking forward to Paul and Paul Nakano. I mean, I'm really looking forward to all of them. But... You've been awake since 1 a.m. and Hall of Fame finishes at 5.15. Do you understand that? Sammy, really? you're at your best you be right. when people are you be right. okay. It'll be okay. So let's find that. Everything is gonna be fine. Be I started at faster watching wrong. a screen with contacts. Yeah, it's awful. Get comfortable. I am comfortable. That's why I'm because we knew we were gonna be here for a long time. So I'm in my jammies and I got my comfy clothes on and my comfy socks and I have a little makeup on. And here we go. That just is what it is. Uh when we first started streaming, I I was in the summertime, I, I do bare face a lot more just because I have more color to me. Um, yeah. During the wintertime, I'm pale as fuck. Midwest life! Thanks for rizzing me up, everybody. Thanks for, thanks for the hype ups. I, I appreciate it. I appreciate it. And I don't feel like editing any videos while I'm watching right now. I will get all of you my clips up from the show be, be later. I, I just, I just kind of want to be in the moment right now and watch and stream. Um, it's been a long week. I will, for sure, next year take WrestleMania week off if we are still streaming. <laughs> You're getting what? You ready for Bray Wyatt's dad speech? Me too. Yeah, I mean, just everything in general. I, I am, I am excited for. You like the chill vibe? Good, I do too. 
Here we go! Am I clipping Hall of Fame? Yes! Yes, 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 I will. I'm currently not really making any money from like TikTok clips anymore, so I just I just don't feel an urgency to get them up. Um, I like to edit them a little bit and make them easier. Why does it even matter if you have makeup on or not? It fucking shouldn't, but people just feel the need to point that stuff out. And it kind what of bothers me because sometimes I'm just a little insecure. To be a to WWE Hall but I'm human. Famer. Putting yourself on the internet is, you know, to ascend it's to the not easy. Of perfection. You are at the discretion of other people's opinions at all times. Profound it's a lot. Get used to it. You watch them on Insta? I prefer Instagram. And I like to clip them up a little bit on Instagram too. It takes confidence. I hate to say it, but Gunther gonna win and continue. More passion. More passion. More energy. More energy. Sorry, they doing that. You're beautiful. It's okay. I should wear my glasses more. Yeah. I never watch your stream because different time zones, so my show airs later. But I can watch this one. Well, thank you for being here. Thank you for sharing on Instagram. You're welcome. I don't know if I want to watch this for two hours. Maybe one. I'll be here the whole time. The whole time. Tonight we celebrate Go those who have so epitomized nice. the essence of being a Hall of Famer. Unbelievable individual. Every time they show Eddie, it still hurts. Muhammad mm. Ali. She is a major superstar in the land of the rising sun. All the kind of meets business. What an honor it is, the legendary Thunderbolt Patterson. Call somebody and tell People somebody. make me feel and look like shit on the daily. Yeah, well. Does it make it okay? One of the very first female You actually talk to us. I do actually talk to you. My grandmother. I do, I do. It's my favorite thing to do. Nice Discord stream of showing us the YouTube tab. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. I was looking, I'm waiting to see if anyone else is gonna share their screen. So I was looking to see if the stream was up on YouTube. I'm sorry, I forget that I'm I'm on. Sorry. Tonight. We I'm basically looking to see if Santi does it, and if he does, then the I will. WWE Hall of Fame. But I don't. I don't know that I'm gonna. I don't know that I'm gonna. And now, WWE presents the 2024 oh, Hall of Fame YouTube induction YouTube. ceremony. Here we go. Does streaming mania with the blonde Welcome line still make you happy? Yes. Oh, the YouTube stream ended? Got it. So they're not streaming it on YouTube. So they were just doing the, the pre-show? Her. Okay, yeah, they were just doing the countdown. Because they were on Twitch, too. All right, cool. Hello, everybody, and welcome to the 2024 WWE... Jackie! ...ceremony. Corey and I are so honored to be your host tonight in Graves. I gotta say, you really pulled it together. It's WrestleMania yes. weekend, the biggest WrestleMania of all time. How can you not look oh, your best? What? I'm so excited to be part of the Hall of Fame once again. Listen, I know the missus was behind this look. We all know. Did you this see Carmella? Carmella looks amazing. What an amazing night we have ahead of ourselves, celebrating true pioneers of this industry that paved the way for generations and generations of future WWE superstars. Now, tonight we gather to honor the extraordinary achievements of some of the most iconic figures. Audio, in the okay, everybody. Of WWE, the biggest names are in the house on the eve of the biggest WrestleMania of all time to celebrate tonight's inductees. I'm talking about our chief content officer, Paul Triple H Levesque. Stephanie. And Jackie, I'm really excited about this one. I'm so excited to see Stephanie. CM Punk. In her EC dub. <clears throat> it is not on YouTube. Nope, it is on Peacock. Corey, the Usos are also here. Separated. Separated, of course. Gotta keep a safe distance. 
God, the ECW hat is dope. I love it. And then we have main event, Jay Uso. Yay. Oh. Okay, she couldn't hear all these people. Just live. Calm down. Well, I, listen, I'm Team Yeet. You're giving Settle down. Team no Yeet, if I'm honest. <laughs> you don't even know me. Oh, I know you. We've also got some WWE <laughs> Hall of Famers in the house. My fellow and favorite Canadian, Trish Stratus, is here. Thank you, Trish. The Kurt Angle? Kurt Angle. I saw him. It's an honorary member of the Shield right there. Molly Holly. And a legend that was inducted into the WWE Hall of Fame just last year, the one and only Rey Mysterio. Booyaka, booyaka. Oh, you looking drippy. And Angie. Larger than life legends will have their names forever enshrined amongst the greatest to ever do it and become forever immortalized in the WWE. Someone said it's on YouTube also. I Let's not waste us. any more time, shall we? Pretty sure just the pre show is Santi has his dog. The okay. is one of the most innovative minds ever in sports entertainment history with unparalleled charisma. This man has never been afraid to push the boundaries, and his outspoken nature has made him one of the greatest to ever touch a microphone. I would even say he reinvented what it means to be a manager. That he did, turning a modest promotion into one of the most Paul daring first. and extreme spectacles this business has ever seen. There it this is. There it is. Vision. He's like, yeah, go ahead. Let him do it. Let him do it. You're not going to win this battle. No, you're not. <laughs> no, let him do it. <laughs> E.C. Duh. E.C. Duh. This man's vision forever altered the history of this business, and he has been called many things. He's been called Oh, an look at the signs. A wise man. A special counsel, if you will. And now he is the first inductee into the 2024 WWE too. Hall of Fame. I'm surprised they're inducting Paul for a suit. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen. My name. My oh. name. My name. My name. I ain't heard the name. It's what you sound disgusting. This goes hard. This goes hard. He's been called every name in the book. Good, bad, but never indifferent. Without a doubt, this person is one of the most ingenious, respected, a visionary, strategic, opinionated, creative, friend, baby, baby, baby Paul, energetic, crazy, icon, and manipulative minds in the history of this business. Paul, Paul, Paul. Oops. Nice. Hustling since day one. At 15 years old, with a great line of BS, I got in backstage at Madison Square Garden. Heyman not only showed an eye for talent as an ambitious photographer, but also developed as a managerial mastermind. Because that excitement had a name. It must Look be at that, man. Dangerous. Polly dangerously. Sport. Patented cell phone in hand, Heyman was in everyone's ear and under Nick. everyone's skin. Steve. I'm a no good, dirty, rotten, lousy son of a you know what. Becoming the mouthpiece of future Hall of Fame. Arn Taker. Look at Pick, man. Army, it's not a stable and it's not a family. Rick. It's an alliance. Polly was very mouth as far as my success in this business. Paul Stunning Heyman Steve, everybody. That nobody else wanted to admit. Bestowing upon them a title more elusive than most championships. Why is he first? I'm sure Amen. there's a reason. I'm sure there's a reason. He can spot a star from a mile away. He's truly gifted. Look how that small way. he is. Paul had his finger on the pulse, right on that audience. And that understanding influenced an army and resulted in a revolution. Who's going last then? I don't know. Heyman transformed a collective of misfits in Philly. I'm sure that there is a plan. No, no, no they're not going to show Brock. I tried to fucking tell you guys. You guys don't listen to me. The Maybe they will. They're throwing old stuff right now. We could, we could get to present. We haven't seen Roman or anything yet, so. We were different. We were the he should draw his mom. We were. Well, he'd have a skullet technically. I think. I think it would technically be a skullet for sure. Yeah. 
But despite kicking down the door, ECW was eventually forced to close theirs. But where there is chaos, there is opportunity. Wait, how do you Finally make a payment video WWE package about Lesnar? You absolutely can. I mean, the it's most of every moment. Totally possible. Wrestling entertainment. The only reason you are WWE champion for a year is because Triple H didn't want to work Tuesday. Eric Bischoff, he just crashed my interview this weekend. The streak. I'm the one behind the one is over. Met Paul. He endorsed me and did an improv promo on me. Never been so speechless and flattered. Ball and a leather coat that drove leather me nuts. Coat, are you getting mad? To commanding arenas around the world. <laughs> Everything he does has purpose. <laughs> However, Heyman. That's one of my favorites. <laughs> in his words of wisdom, he trying to help everybody. If I don't see you talking to Paul, then you miss enough. He really forces you to think in a very different way. His brain should be in the WWE Hall of Fame. Words that counseled one superstar RBD, to the baby head Roman. Of the table. Acknowledge me. Right, he did get a little, got a little bit with Brock, but they're not, they're not gonna, they're not gonna showcase that hundred. Like, that's not what they're gonna focus on. continues to be the voice among the reigning, defending, stunning Steve man, and he wouldn't have it any other way. Showtime. He's already left a legacy, and he's just getting started. Photographer to promoter, manager to mastermind. Advocate to wise man. How do you view yourself? I'm the greatest of all time. The loudest and <gasps> Iconic. most influential voice in WWE now becomes immortal. Ladies and Polly Two Phones. <laughs> 2024 Hall of Fame inductee Paul Heyman. And that's not a prediction. That's a Spoiler. Amazing. Now here to induct his wise man, Paul Heyman. Please acknowledge the undisputed. I wonder how WWE this is going to go down. Champion, the tribal chief, Roman Reigns. Like, how is this going to go down? Oh, God, are we going to get like a 10 minute entrance? Or is he just gonna come down like a normal person? What you gonna do, Roman? Ah! <laughs> Respect. I'd still be booing his ass. Ooh, uh huh. No other superstar is gonna put the ones up. X-Pac, RVD, oh, he took his sunglasses off. Jimmy Hart. Sorry, I'm just looking to see who I can find. Looking drippy. He is looking drippy. He look good, he look good. Yeah, yeah, he look good, he look good. You don't acknowledge Roman? Me either. Ooh, look at Jimmy and Naomi matching, though. Love it. Exactly. Savor the moments while they're here. Savor the I don't acknowledge the motherfucker, but man, acknowledge them while they're here. We're in... We're in one hell of a time, guys. Was that JBL? Yeah. Too bad Rock is not there. It's okay. It's okay. It's really... How much more would he add at this point? People make decisions. It is what it is. No, no sense in dwelling on it. No, I am not able to show the video, underdog. I'm sorry. I am not. I'm not. I know, right? Horrible seating. WWE entrance. Hall of Fame. It's weird seeing you in a suit, honestly. Acknowledge me. Boo! Naomi acknowledging him. Show Naomi. Now I'll admit. This is a uh, ridiculous spot to be in. 
I'm supposed to cut a promo about the greatest promo in the history of this business, who for the first time in his life is coming out here only to talk about himself. How did I land this gig? This is. Oh, shit. I almost said no. But I love my wise men. So there's just no way I could say no. So I'm sitting there, I'm like, wait, 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 what do I say? What can Fuck I cover? The, the wise man's going to come out here, he's going to break into his history, and then all of a sudden he's going to transition perfectly to the future and start promoting. So I figured the only way to do this is to share my perspective of the wise man. Oh, I clocked that real fucking quick. The taught me mm -mm. that every no. week is an audition to be invited back to the next week. If no one else is doing it, he I'm not doing it. That no matter how great I've become, there's still lessons and to he be don't count. from anyone. And if you're not learning, you're not growing. The wise man taught me that no matter what happens, as long as our children are healthy, we're blessed men. Are they wedding during his speech? But the wisest piece of advice came from Paul on a rental car shuttle at five in the morning on a Wednesday. And I was shit. I was blackout drunk, yeah. It was a good loop. We had a good loop, y'all. And back then we celebrated all the time, but I knew it had to be good advice because I remembered all of it. He told me, Okay. I told him that if I was on his side, there would be nothing that I couldn't do in this business. And then he chuckled and he laughed at me and he politely rejected my offer. And then he told me, Joe, you don't need me. You don't need anyone. The only thing you need is to do it yourself, to believe in yourself. You guys are fucking rude. I'm seeing what some of you are saying. He said, the moment that you start doing that, you'll need for nothing. You'll have the world in the palm of your hand. Is there a kid doing TikTok dances and in And those background? are the words that I needed to hear at that time. And that's what he does. He always says the words that you need to hear. To me, to you, to our entire fan base, he knows what to say, how to say I see it, your comment, but if you're talking about my appearance, I'm not acknowledging it. <laughs> And that's why he's the greatest communicator that. of all time. I'm just wearing glasses. Okay. Plain and simple. The tribal chief doesn't happen if I'm not with the wise man. Wrestling fans fucking suck sometimes. The moment I'm not with the wise man is the moment you won't see the tribal chief anymore. I don't care how his character is presented. He's a good man. No, he's a great man. No, he's a minch. And I get it. It's pretty, it's pretty easy to judge his book by a cover, but no matter how you judge it, you should take the time to read it because you'll never experience a story quite like it. So with that, please join me and acknowledge the newest member of the WWE Hall of Fame. Polly Two Phones. Of 2024. I actually don't know the mentions and I don't feel like looking it up. <laughs> I'm not Paul sure. Heyman. Did I just acknowledge the tribal chief? No, I did not. Oh. There it is. He's gonna go right up to Rob. He's gonna go right up to Rob. Yeah. <laughs> Look at Rob's wife looking color coordinated. Oh, they're they both color coordinated. Oh, Tommy! 
Oh. No bully. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. He's right there. <laughs> it was Al. Put them all the way back there. Walks right past Jamie out. Well, yeah, I mean, he, 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 he. My tribal chief. Goofy ass. <laughs> H didn't want to work Tuesdays. They gonna make Paul cry? I was. Let's show some emotion. Got his hair colored for this. Looking fresh. Looking fresh. Looking fresh. E C duck. E C duck. E C duck. E C duck. Now kiss. <laughs> Stop it. Stop remembering things. Is Stephanie there? She is, yes. She's wearing an ECW hat. They should show it again. I did call Tommy being there. Of course. I, well, I thought Tommy was going to... Well, I had predicted or thought that Tommy was going to induct him. I mean, obviously he did not, but... Have your moment, Paul. Have your moment, bud. Ladies and gentlemen. You damn right I deserve. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> oh, you can just tell how much he's loved. I, oh, God. No. Oh. Any of the stars sitting down? Rhea. <laughs> I didn't prepare anything tonight because, as I said in the media, I, I really wanted to feel the room, and I'm not very good as just speaking as me. Um, so I asked somebody who's been up here, Rob Van Dam. I just saw him fucked up last weekend. <laughs> And I said, Rob, I, I'm, I'm just a, I'm just, I'm, 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 I'm just a Jew boy from the Bronx. How, how, how do I reveal myself just as me? I've never, haven't done it in, in 40 something years except at home. And, and Van Damme says in his That's eloquent manner. <laughs> He blaze right now. Look at his eyes. <laughs> so Trips. I, 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 I got I to gotta figure this out. I got to ask someone who would understand what would I, my, myself, you know, just, just Paul, no middle name, Haman is like. So, so I asked my son, Jacob, who's sitting right there. Next to his sister, Azalea, my daughter. And they're sitting next to a man for whom I have indescribable respect, C.M. Punk. He's a Paul Heyman guy. <laughs> we didn't know. 
He's a ball human guy. What's her name? Azalea. And I said to my son, Jacob, how do I present myself as me? And, and Jacob picked his head up and he said, <laughs> Ask Van Damme, Dad! <laughs> the rest of the stash is in the car. He's turning red. <laughs> <laughs> He's so sweaty I'm now, yeah. I'm a beneficiary of mass praise for doing with my life exactly what I wanted to do. Do with my life. What a feeling. <laughs> I Not a lot of people get that. Get to work with the men and the women in this beautiful performance art known as sports and professional <laughs> wrestling. <laughs> we are turning a page, guys. Fucking hell, man. This I would never the first happen. Pick, the this first would person never. announced the first headliner in a class completely picked by Paul Levesque. He's. Stephanie's crying. Yeah, that was said for an absolute fucking reason. Only one person can drive the car out of chaos. Only one person can assume true control of the locker room and the leadership that was sorely needed by the men and the women in this beautiful wow, performance wow, art wow, wow. has been bestowed upon us by that man sitting right there, wow. Paul Levesque. Wow. Brandy. Of course, I always break the rules when I come out here and do these promos, and the one thing that Paul Levesque asked me was, hey, please don't speak about me. <laughs> but the way that this man had, has assumed the pencil of this company and has led us to a creative freedom backstage where Why am I more getting superstars are emerging into the main events in front of your very eyes. And the manner in which he leads us well, let me tell you for prosperity into that camera for the rest of my life, I will be a Paul Levesque guy. Why is that doing that to me? <laughs> Shit. I will also call to your attention. Who's cutting onions? <laughs> that his lovely bride, Stephanie, is Oh, here God, this you're evening. really going to get me too. Fuck. 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 You're going to get me with stuff. You're going to get me with her. If my daughter grows up to be half the woman that Stephanie is, I assure you, I will have raised a great lady in my household. I would also like to call to your attention that Stephanie is wearing a cap adorned with the letters E C W. Are we all are we all are we all crying? I think at this point, after all these years, it's time for Stephanie to admit she married the wrong Paul. <laughs> oh God.
I'm good. You good? Y'all good? I'm good. Y'all good? I'm good. The whole Triple H glaze got me. I'm good. I just love wrestling. I could elaborate right now, but I don't want to interrupt him. I have so many thoughts. Indulge me for just a moment, and then we'll get to ECW. To my children. Oh, people talk about their kids. Oh. Oh. This is what I want you to do with your lives. It's not about the money. I don't mean to do it on television. I don't mean that you get to sit in the front row with these luminaries whose accomplishments in life and in this industry pale by comparison to what I've done. Remember, he's and doing this without way, anything prepared. If anybody here screws with you, you're two seats down from Haku. <laughs> It's not about the money. It's about being worthy of people's respect. It's about being worthy of their admiration. It's about pursuing your dreams and failing and going after them again and again and oh, again fuck. and again and failing 101 times and succeeding on the 101st. I did not have crying this much on my bingo card. I thought fucking Taker was bad. Fuck. It's about waking up the next morning and you can't wait to get into it because the world just isn't fucking ready for you. <laughs> God Pursue damn it. Pursue your dreams. <laughs> you Pursue your happiness. <laughs> and I promise you one day you will be standing on a podium in front of a group of your peers and your fans, and your friends, and your family, and your children, and you will hear the love for the body of work that you put together with the true passion of your lives. I have been an orator for 40 years of my life. My father was a far greater orator than I could ever hope to be. And I will never find the words to convey to the two of you how much I desperately love you both. If you'll indulge me for one more moment, I would just like to publicly say I so wish my mother was here tonight to see this. I so wish my father was here tonight to see this. I don't, I'm sorry guys, I'm sorry. I'm I'm a very emotional person. Hey, where's Cody Rhodes? <laughs> if you did, if you didn't know, yeah, I'm an emotional ass fucking person. Now you know, it's okay. I'm man enough to cry in front of people. <laughs> uh, the good thing I didn't I wear makeup. I so wish your father was here tonight to see this too. I love me too. <laughs> well, uh, I think that covers all the mush. Okay? Yeah, can you, yeah, can we laugh? <laughs> I guess now it's time to talk 
about E. Yes. C-W. Yes. Let's do it. What the fuck do you have? What do you have? What do you got? What is this? No, it's gonna make me cry more. Nope, nope, just gonna, it's just gonna make me cry more. Oh, cool. All right, that's fine. <laughs> a hat? Are you gonna wear the hat? He's got his Holy, the real one. <laughs> I think I broke this over the head of Sting. When Rick Rude became the United States heavyweight champion, fucked up company called WCW. <laughs> uh, you have a ponytail no more, though. Why are we crying? Because I'm a big baby. Because I'm a huge baby. There comes a time. And I got to see Paul Heyman in that hat as a kid. In the life <laughs> That's why. Of every man where he has to accept reality. The reality to this man is that in 1993, this industry sucked. <laughs> Oh, we had your plumbers, and we had your garbage men, <laughs> and we had your clowns running around. Uh -huh. But what happened to the love of the art of professional wrestling? I was a kid running around, both way into the back of Madison Square Garden, uh. and all I could think of right. was, man, let me get my hands on this, and I will show them a way. I will show them the way this business... Shut up, kid. Shut up, kid. Shut up, <laughs> kid. Yeah, all right. Here's what happened. I go to WCW. They wouldn't listen to your wise man, and I said, well... Okay, we need to find some place that will accept these ideas, that will accept this vision, that will look into the future, that will bring hip-hop into wrestling, that will bring heavy metal into wrestling, that will bring sexy women fighting each other and real men bashing each other right in the face. We need to put people through tables. We need to climb the ladder all the way up to the top. We need to create the tribe of the extreme. And it would never have happened any other place but in Philadelphia. Heathens. <laughs> Where did Stone Cold Steve Austin drink his first beer? Right down the road in a bingo hall on the corner of Swanson and Whitner called the ECW Arena. Where did Eric Bischoff get the whole idea for cruiserweight, Rey Mysterio and Psychosis? Where, right down the road on the corner of Swanson and Whitner, on the wrong side of the train tracks, called the ECW Arena? Where did the Dudleys say, you're going through a table tonight and everybody's gonna like it, so Devon, get the table! I didn't see Devon sitting there. <laughs> Where did Rob Van Dam light up an audience as much as he was lighting up the joint backstage? <laughs> catching strays. Always C catching strays. <laughs> He's like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Bubba Ray Dudley says it best. ECW wasn't meant to last. We were meant to go out in a blaze of glory. We were Napster. We were here to change the business. We were here to disrupt the industry. And it's exactly what we did. For those of you who say that the concept of extreme died on the corner of Swanson and Rittner, I beg to disagree. For those of you who will say that 
ECW lives no more. I respectfully disagree with your assessment. And for those of you who don't realize that ECW is alive today in the matches that are performed in front of you, that in the concepts that have been adopted by the entire industry, in the passion of the, the entire fans industry. that still comes today to WWE and any other wrestling promotion on the face of yep. this planet. If you think that the spirit of ECW died in a bankruptcy court in 2001, you can s <laughs> The last time we heard him talk like that, oh my god. CM Punk just leaned over to my son and said, your dad just got himself canceled again. <laughs> <laughs> and here's the funny part of it all, ladies and gentlemen. They ain't gonna cancel me because they know if they do, I'm coming back bigger, better, stronger than ever before. Sweaty now, Paul, and that They canceled hat. me in WCW. I became the manager of the Samoan SWAT team. They canceled me with the Samoan SWAT team. I became the manager of Mean Mark, who I then passed on to Bruce Pritchard behind WCW's back, and he is forever the Undertaker. They Blow, canceled honey. me with Mean Mark, and I become Jim Ross's color commentator yeah. because somebody had to show that Oki how to do announcing. <laughs> when they canceled me as a commentator, I came back with the Dangerous Alliance. When they canceled me out of WCW, I came back with ECW. When they canceled ECW, I came to WWE, and who do I end up with? The one in 21 and one, Barack Lesnar! And when the entire world got canceled out by the zombie apocalypse that we've come to known as the pandemic, and Brock Lesnar went home to Saskatchewan to kill things that he could put on the plate to feed his family, that wasn't a knock on hardcore Holly. For those of you who don't understand, Google it, bitches, I'm not here to educate you tonight. Andrade in the back like And then I got <laughs> canceled as the executive director of Monday Night Raw. And here I am in my mid-50s and my 800-pound gorilla is home in Saskatchewan and I'm out of any creative influence and you think I've been canceled. And I'm swimming in the ocean of obscurity and I'm rescued onto the island of relevancy by your tribal chief, the head of the table, the goat, the greatest of all time, Roman Reigns. My tribal chief. <laughs> Jimmy. <laughs> He's in it, man. For the young men and women sitting around this ring and up on that stage, the message tonight is simple. They can't cancel you. Only you can cancel you. Only you can stop yourself from living out your dreams. Only you can let them cancel you. I've been canceled a hundred times in this business. I'll come back a hundred and one. They canceled me on a hundred and one. I'll come back bigger, better, stronger, more extreme and wiser in a hundred and two. I have the honor and the privilege of working not only with Roman Reigns and the Usos and Solo and a Samoan dynasty that will rule for 
hundreds of years to come. I work with the future of this business. I get to work with Braun Breaker. I get to work with Rhea Ripley. Bloody Ripley. <laughs> I get to work with Carmelo Hayes. I get, I get to work with Trick Williams. I, 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 I get to work that with trick. Jade Cargill. I, and I see the things in them that I saw the generation before them with Steve Austin and The Undertaker and Rikishi and CM Punk and Seth Rollins. You just mentioned CM Punk. Chill Becky out, Lynch. And she's sitting behind me, and I'm probably next to her wonderful husband, her biggest fan in the world. I've gotten to work with Charlotte Flair. I love them. So let's take this bitch home, shall we? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Paul Heyman. Welcome to the class of 2024 Paul of Fame. I stand before you not only as the former advocate for Barack Lesnar, I stand before you as the best friend and biggest fan of Chicago's very own C.M. Punk. And I stand before you as special counsel and a wise man to the reigning, defending, undisputed WWE Universal Heavyweight Champion, Roman Reigns. You guys are going to know me real well tonight. <laughs> I have to pee. I've taken don't too long. Don't ever tell me I don't fucking love pro wrestling. I assure you okay? of this. Don't do that. This is not a lifetime achievement award. I know everybody says, I'm just getting started. You ain't seen nothing yet. Yo, bitches, I'm just getting started. You ain't seen nothing yet. There's more disruption of this industry. I'm ready to run through fucking through brick walls right now. I guarantee you. I'm ready to run through brick walls. Wall over again and that's not a prediction that's a spoiler man Ooh. Y'all were like hour long speech. It was 26 minutes, by the way. It was 26 minutes. In case you wanted to know. <laughs> he doesn't know how to speak. Of course. I mean, of course. <laughs> Tony, I just got your. Uh, I wasn't paying attention to my Discord. Oh my God! How did you guys feel about it? the WWE? Will will upload that fully? I think they they always upload the um the Hall of Fame speeches. Oh my God! How do you follow that? I mean, in your own way, and, and you know, I'm sure it'll still be a good rest of the show. I did not I did not expect to have that emotional of a reaction. Um, I'm not gonna apologize for it, but who? Yeah, man. Um. God, I forget what I even was going to say. They're going to cut Lesnar mentions. That's okay. It's fine. We don't, the thing, the thing that you shouldn't be, uh, the thing, if all you took away from that was the fact that they fucking mentioned Brock Lesnar, go away. Like, it was a moment in history. It was a pivotal moment of his career. He didn't glaze him up at all. He didn't glaze him up. He just said something that was very attached to him. So, the Hall of Fame what would you have done ceremony. if Paul Heyman interrupted your interview at the convention you went to last weekend? Cry. 
No, I don't know. I probably would have had the same reaction, honestly. Our next inductee struck fear into her opponents with her Someone needs to go wash their eyes. Face no, paint, rugged okay. physicality, and aggressive demeanor. A true warrior in every sense of the word. A monumental figure in women's wrestling. And one of the biggest stars to come out of Japan. Let's take a look at the next inductee into the WWE Hall of Fame. She is a Bull. major superstar in the land Fuck. of the rising sun. I think, uh, oh, God, did you see that? I think Rotunda might be, I think oh, Rotunda God, might be ending this. because, I'm sorry, if that didn't make you cry or hit you hard, are you Beginning really a Paul Heyman person? I mean, uh, some people just aren't emotional. You know, that's totally no fine. Um, a name for herself I am. As one of Japan's premier superstars. I'm very emotional. And I love her wrestling. Bull it's been a huge part of my life. A devastating it's a very big part of my life right now. The bull just ran over like a freight train. Oh, yeah. On the WWE Universe. And I'm also exhausted and hearing Paul Heyman here in the fucking sure hype people up to depend. follow their dreams and do shit Her look when I'm running on, was so you know. unique. Look at the bull's hair, that's cool, you gotta admit. Bull Nakano really stands out. She was larger than life. You're There's spent no now. Question. Oh my God. Bull Nakano is a talented I'm superstar, drained. but that I'm hair is tall. Her hair, I just had to get on here and say that that was the greatest speech of all time and I'll, it'll stay that way. Oh my God. Fucking incredible. Night Demon of Nine, thank you for being here tonight. I appreciate you. Hair, colorful makeup, and <clears throat> terrifying intensity. Bull Nakano the one thing I took away from this is cancel culture can get a fuck you every day. Throughout the depending on, depending on. Bull Nakano you know has held three different <clears throat> versions of the world championship recognized the And I think a lot of it. Well Midnight Bug, thank you for subscribing with Prime, dude. I really appreciate that. Thank you for being here. But. Ananja Blaze. wrestlers in the history of our sport. Spanning across both WWE and WCW, it was the rivalry between Bull Nakano and Alundra Blaze yes. that set a new standard for the women's Fucking evolution. Did you see that? Like a frisbee. Tossing her. us on the map of legitimacy that we could wrestle. That's who made me stand up at home and clap for Triple H. That got me. Wrestling forever. That was kind of uh, that was kind of what I wanted to talk about. Actually. Bull Nakano's crowning achievement, November 1994, in front of over 40,000 fans. If you've been Bull watching for a long time, Blaze for the WWE and you're not a piece of shit on the internet, that the all you do is talk Egg shit, Dome and you genuinely Japan. love professional wrestling, and you have been in this for the fucking long haul for a while. I started watching again in 2016. Bulls okay, do you know how much dog shit fucking happened between then and now? Like do you know how much Kyrie fucking dog Sky shit, dog shit happened? And, and to have what we have going on right now, and for someone like Paul to stand there and basically say, "Hey, we have Triple H. He's doing this. You are seeing changes. We are not going back to what the fuck was the happening." The great thing about her being inducted like, into the WWE Hall of Fame is there's just so many fans that have possibly heard of her for the first time. That's, that's magical. That breathes life, and that's when you get your third act. And Bull Nakano deserves all that. Complete badass. Who's inducting her? There is so much more to come. I have it on relatively good authority that The Undertaker is in the house. Oh, and a certain electrifying final boss is live here tonight. Well, his grandma's and here. It is my <laughs> distinct honor to introduce the inductor for our next inductee. She is a WWE Hall of Famer in her own right, Alundra Blaze. Alundra! Oh gosh! I haven't seen her in a really long time. Dude, she looks fucking good. She looks good. Was it 2019 was the last time? No, she looks great. Medusa. 
But Triple H said today, WWE isn't competing against anyone but themselves. Attitude Era, Hogan years, the Ruthless Aggression Era. That's what they're competing against and what drives them and everyone in the back to work so hard right now. Absolutely. Hey, girly. Wow, what an evening so far. <laughs> Paul Heyman sure knows how to light up a room. And I want to say thank you to my CEO of the Dangerous Alliance. Congratulations, Paul. I love you. Was it a real report that Cody Rhodes under Cody Runnels actually uh, trademarked the Renaissance era, Tony? Distinguished guests and the WWE Universe, it is with immense pride and admiration that I stand here tonight to induct my esteemed colleague, into the WWE Hall of Fame, Budo Nakano. I think Cody Rhodes uh, trademarked the term or applied for a trademark Boodle for the Renaissance era her career under the name Cody Rhodes. With dreams and aspirations of becoming a Joshi pro wrestler, there were hundreds of women vying for a spot with All Japan Women's Pro Wrestling. And she completed and competed against all of them. She was ultimately selected due to her fiery competitiveness and her sheer determination. Budasan wasn't just a competitor, she was a revolution. Her charisma possessed the transformative power of the kabuki mask electrifying an entire room with her mere presence. Her iconic look, a testament to both rebellion and tradition, Buddha, thank you for the resub. Happy transcended six months borders and languages, becoming Busan. instantly recognizable across the globe. The significance of bold speed and blunt force style were cutting edge and continue to influence the modern day WWE talent. But beneath, but beneath the vibrant face paint and the shocking hairstyle lay a foundation of steel. Buru's tenacity was a legendary as her top rope guillotine attacks. Her work ethic, along with a relentless pursuit of perfection, is a masterclass for aspiring sports entertainers or pro wrestlers. She didn't. They're really driving the point home that they can the fucking industry. say that. She meticulously dissected it. She rebuilt it with her Man. own ferocious finesse, and in doing so, ignited a fire in the hearts of countless young women who dared to dream of becoming the next Bull Nakano. Do a shot every time someone says pro wrestling. We should do it for Mania. Bull and I weren't just colleagues. We were gladiators locked in a crucible that redefined the very definition of women's wrestling. Together, we threw down the gauntlet every match and created a new standard, an international standard, that continues to shape the landscape of women's wrestling And in wrestling the time today. that you did. Now, let's just say we tended to push the boundaries of what women's wrestling was uh -huh. back in the day. Absolutely. We traded lariats harder Thank you. than washi paper on a summer day, and our battles highlighted a hard-hitting style including bull signature nunchucks, her kendo sticks, that have become the templates for tough physical wrestling worldwide. And perhaps a touch of well-deserved physical therapy bills. Tonight, we celebrate not just her championships, but the legacy she has forged. Budasan, you are more than a Hall of Famer. You are a pioneer, an inspiration, a testament to the unwavering human spirit. And best of all, my friend. Ladies and gentlemen, with the utmost respect. No, she is jacked. 
please join me in welcoming to the WWE Hall of Fame, the incomparable Bull Nakano. I haven't heard that in a hot minute. What's the fit? What's she wearing? Did I enjoy Paul's speech? Did I? Oops. Oh my god, she looks amazing. Five years since the 90s, right? She looks great, and the crowd is really quiet. Thank you, Alan Walker Music. You didn't miss the Hall of Fame. I mean, it's happening. You did miss Paul Heyman. I'm very happy to receive this award. Oh, 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 bull. I have been waiting a long time. I had a great experience with WWE in 1994. Thirty years ago, I was 26 years old. Life with the WWE was tough because I didn't know anything other than pro wrestling. There were months when we had 28 matches in a month, so it was very tough. What was sometimes more difficult? was the daily transportation to the venue. Since I can't speak English, I had a hard time flight connection and rent a car to get to the venue. Try finding your hotel with a cell phone. We had a look for a public phone back then. It was a challenge, but it was the help of many follow friends. I somehow managed to continue with the tour. <laughs> the most of enjoyable part was the daily matches. Pro wrestling is a universal, even if you can't speak English. The friend and I saw the same moments. When I was in the ring, I felt alive. <laughs> the day was like a dream, as I was able to give all my heart out. I want to think Don't cry, girl. You got it. You got it. You got it. You got it. Medusa. Who continued to fight alongside me? I am... I am grateful to her from the bottom of my. Thank you very much.
also Luna Bachon. Luna Bachon. And well done. Who supported me? I am still grateful to able to tour with so many superstars. I would like to thank WWE for giving me this great opportunity. I did my best not to waste the opportunity. And master of all, thank you to the WWE Universe. Who accepted Buru Nakano? You are bruising, cruising me more than anything. <laughs> huh? We will be forever be connected to professional wrestling. If there is such a thing as being reborn. I want to be professional wrestler Bruno Nakano again. <laughs> and be back in the WWE ring. I would look forward to seeing you all again then. This award is treasure to me. Thank you very much. You can give me a kid, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, goodness gracious. It's so hard to feel things. It's just so hard to feel things. <laughs> I'm fine. I'm good, I'm good. I'm good, I'm good. Just, you know. <sighs> We're all good. It's all good. Uh, 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 time is so mean. <laughs> You're all chosen because you are enough. I came up on your For You page. Oh, no, M. Davidson. I'm so sorry. You get to see me crying at wrestling speeches. Hello, my name is Weezy Blonde. If you don't know who I am, I am a professional wrestling streamer and content creator. You can find me here on YouTube and Instagram and TikTok. I watch Monday Night Raw and Friday Night SmackDown every Monday and Friday, and I watch all major WWE premium live events. Sometimes I dabble in other stuff. It is WrestleMania weekend. So we're currently watching Hall of Fame. And I'll be streaming WrestleMania tomorrow and Sunday. Who's my favorite? I have a lot of favorites. I have a lot of favorites. If you're asking women, uh, you know, Bailey. Um, love Bailey at the moment. The men's fucking Seth Rollins, Trent Williams. Uh, I love everybody. Everybody's great. Yeah, you know, um, Randy Orton is up there for sure. I don't want to get. I don't want to get copyrighted. Sorry, I gotta fuck with that. <laughs> if the fireflies come out tonight, I'm gonna cry for an hour. It's probably gonna happen, dude probably gonna happen he shouldn't inducted reigns barry barry i feel bad for you you got a stream trick tomorrow i i can't i just can't i just can't i can't stream um nxc can i be honest oh god Oh, God. Here we go. Be honest. Tell me. What? What would you like to be honest about, M. Davidson? What's the IWC? The Internet Wrestling Community. Bro's asking to get cooked. He might, he might surprise us. He might surprise us. Let the man speak. Let the man speak. It's going to be beauty related. It doesn't have to do with my appearance. Come on, you have the whole class's attention. We're waiting, M. Davidson. We're waiting. 
for reading. Logan Paul is going to get RKO. That was it? Oh my God. <laughs> You're probably right, Davidson. All right, M. Davidson's cool, everybody. Put your swords down. He's fine. <laughs> you guys are ready to go. <laughs> they should have inducted Cody since he's retiring. YouTube, what are you on? What are you on? Oh my God. Nick Beasley Sports, thank you for the resub, dude. Happy four month subversary. Thank you for being a part of the blonde line. Oh my God. You're getting another drink, you fools. I'm still drinking the same water. I need to hydrate. Do, do, do. Ah. Uh. YouTube is really something. Yeah, they are. My favorite speech has always been Bret Hart. Didn't someone storm? Yeah, yeah. Someone stormed the stage that year. And Cash, Cash fucking clocked him. Was it Cash? I remember that. Mm-hmm. Who's my favorite inductee tonight, ultimately? Paul Heyman. next inductee was an icon inside and outside the ring. To this day, he truly epitomizes what it means to be immortal. And Corey, I think it's safe to say he could cut one hell of a promo. Without further ado, let's take a look at the storied career of one of the greatest athletes in American history. Oh, Muhammad Ali. I must be the greatest. I shook up the world. I shook up the world. The greatest. A nickname straight out of WWE. The whole ceremony got you feeling some type of way? I'm doing. Do I drink or do some weed? No. I, oh, I drink. I don't do, I don't do anything other than that. But, like, not a lot. All the, I don't drink, like, all the time. Like, I don't drink during the week. Float like a butterfly, sting like a bee. I'm not an alcoholic. You have a heavyweight like Ali moving like that. Hot take, The Undertaker isn't that good of a wrestler. His moveset isn't that good. And other wrestlers deserve to be listed above him in the greatest wrestlers of all time category. Get a life. Get a fucking life. Get a life. Can you imagine? Can you imagine feeling the need to have that take? Why is it a take that needs to be said? How miserable are you? How fucking miserable are you? What? Templates that guys could take and become big wrestlers. You said that to a pro wrestler, they'd probably punch you right in the fucking mouth. Right in the fucking mouth. What? Those two did. what? George, is George, a famous American wrestler. He was talking about, Ooh, I am the man. greatest wrestler. I am great. Look at my beautiful blonde hair. <laughs> and I said, this is a good idea. You're welcome. Yeah, thank you. And thank right you for me. I start talking. I am the greatest. <laughs> Fucking Undertaker slander. So what? Natural, Ali moved from one ring I just. To another, <laughs> you guys baffle like baffles me. Into blockbusters baffles me. Against legends Antonio Inoki. He doesn't have the work rate. And Gorilla Monsoon. Am I gonna post clips on TikTok for the Hall of Fame? Yes, I will. I will, I will. At the first ever didn't WrestleMania, take any from made even I was too history. busy the focusing. Event, I didn't take any from Bull. Here he is, Oops. the greatest. Muhammad Ali. Never found the Twitch stream, but I love the, the content. Hey, thanks for coming in, man. I appreciate it. Think about thanks for being here. Muhammad Ali meant to that ring, meant but to you that found us now. Venue. You know, you know. It's just top shelf stuff. It's the important. Counts for something. Counts for something. You know. The outspoken icons, big time. There is a hot take and just plain and correct. We, like sometimes there, there's just hot takes that just don't need to fucking inequality. exist. Like that's the thing. Like you don't have to have a take about everything. You just don't. And some things are better just left like not said. Up to his principles. Yeah, like I'm As different. Pay attention to me. I have a different take. Muhammad Ali like, meant up. everything to me. Oh my God, really literally, if you said, I swear to God, if you said that to anyone to in the wrestling up. industry, they literally would punch and you in the so fucking mouth. They literally would punch you in the fucking mouth. Fighting Parkinson's disease as bravely as any opponent 
Ali His hot takes scream interactions to get paid by Twitter. And you know what the funny thing is? None of them get paid. They Muhammad have like 200 Ali followers. Respect. You could feel that respect worldwide. Athlete, just, uh, entertainer, activist. Ali was simply shit. one of, if not the most influential figure of the 20th 200 is being century. generous. It's 47. Muhammad Ali. You always and even then, follower count's not important, but it's like... You're the greatest of all time. Every time I saw him, he'd do that. I said, no, you're the greatest Hogan of wearing all time. a macho shirt. If there's a Hall of Fame of Hall of Famers, Muhammad Gosh, Ali's flag. first ballot Hall of Fame. What we hear from athletes today, so much of that Wait, can directly say? be traced back to Muhammad Ali. That uh, voice has carried and influenced. I wish I could find a girl like you that watching wrestling. Oh, no, I'm Davidson. And now, the oh, greatest no. is indeed among the greatest in the 2024 class of the WWE it's fine, buddy. Hall it's okay you don't have to be with someone that watches wrestling it's overrated it's overrated you know my husband doesn't watch wrestling i love him he's great here to help induct muhammad ali into the wwe hall of fame please welcome the undertaker Ooh. takers in inducting him no shit. One of the greatest Hall of Fame speeches of all time also. That was that was great. He was he was preaching to us, remember? Mans was not standing at that podium. That was a great speech. Some dog? Someone should tell Taker that someone thinks he sucks. Yeah, I'm sure he cares. I'm sure he gives a shit. <laughs> he's a fucking Undertaker. Taker heard that guy's hot take and he's here, right? <laughs> oh my god. No bike? <laughs> no, he's... This isn't about him. <laughs> Mark, your moveset fucking sucks. <laughs> that is so funny. <laughs> Can you imagine? Can you imagine being that guy? What? Crazy. Was Jay's son filming? Probably. That dude absolutely left after we all roasted him because he knew he was wrong. <laughs> Float like a butterfly, sting like a bee. The hands can't hit what the eyes can't see. This might be wordy. I love you, though. Now you see me, now you don't. Big George thinks he will, but I know he won't. I've just always wanted to say that and never been able to, so... <laughs> Only one man can truly claim to be the greatest professional boxer of all time, Muhammad Ali. Immortalized as a household name, Muhammad's contributions have been unprecedented, dominating boxing for over two decades. He was a three-time heavyweight world champion, taking on men like Sonny Liston, smoking Ooh. Joe Frazier, Ooh. and Big George Foreman. George Foreman, he took I them have all to the limit. Between his feats as an athlete and a humanitarian, Muhammad Ali may be one of the most decorated individuals in the history of time. Just to name a few an Olympic gold medalist, presidential award winner, boxing Hall of Famer. Muhammad was and always will be the legend amongst legends. It is my humble honor to induct the champ, the greatest, 
Muhammad Ali into this year's WWE Hall of Fame. Please welcome Lonnie Ali to accept this award in his honor. Get up there, Queen. Boxer, champion, activist, citizen of the world, ambassador of peace in each, Muhammad lived up to his reputation as the greatest. He led by example, a role model and inspiration to us all. He lived his life with purpose, and he continues to inspire new generations of fans. I met Muhammad when I was six years old, and he became the love of my life. Wow. But no, he was never my babysitter. <laughs> that would never have worked. He never learned to cook. But he had a sweet tooth, so it would have been ice cream and candy bars for sure. But simply put, Muhammad loved people, all people and they loved him right back. And he loved the roar of the crowd, an incredible self-promoter, something he learned early in his career from WWE Hall of Famer Gorgeous George. He became the most famous person on the planet. He belonged to the world. He was a global icon and a showman who transcended sports and entertainment. In fact, it could be argued that Muhammad was the original global sports entertainer. Yeah. He was, he was beating the shit Muhammad out of people, ma'am. Muhammad rode the waves <laughs> in the WWE, then the WWE, by oh. punching Rowdy Roddy Piper in the main event of the first ever WrestleMania. Yeah. Yeah. As a special guest referee, Muhammad's job was to keep order, and nothing brought order faster than his signature straight right hand punch, better known as the anchor punch. And if he wasn't throwing punches, he was surely living up to his well-earned moniker, the Louisville Lip. A notorious trash talker, one of the earliest in his sport, Muhammad spoke with unwavering confidence and conviction. But as we all know, he could back it up in the ring, right? Right. Outside the ring, Muhammad used his voice and platform to attack racism at a time when the nation's black athletes and celebrities were expected to keep their mouths shut. Muhammad's mouth was seldom shut. <laughs> Even during his battle with Parkinson's disease, which impaired his movement and his speech, I forgot about Muhammad that. remained an active and engaged humanitarian and an ambassador of goodwill. He had a real knack for making lemons into lemonade. A man we can all revere, Muhammad was and is deserving of every honor he has ever received. And I know he would have been thrilled and honored to be inducted into the WWE Hall of Fame. Thank you for honoring him tonight. That was great. That was very, very good. You, the fans, are the reason Muhammad Ali was called the People's Champ. And in 1998, a young wrestler asked for permission 
to use the people's champion out of a deep respect and homage to Muhammad's legacy. I didn't know that. Muhammad was pleased and proud to honor The Rock's request. And <laughs> tonight, it is my honor to present The Rock with the People's Championship. What? <laughs> Are we gonna move? Bad timing. <laughs> oh shit. Oh. Snaked him. Yep, no mute. Yep, that's a perfect way to do it. Perfect way to do it. Perfect way to do it. Oh, Grandma. Tushy. This poor woman probably doesn't know why he's being booed. She might not. Maybe he might have given her. He might have given her a heads up. I'm sure he knew. Obviously, he knew this was happening. Is he gonna talk? What is this? What is this? What is this gonna look like? Oh. Oh. I suppose that at least he wasn't late. I heard. <laughs> I heard about it. He was on time for this shit. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Why are they making this about The Rock? Well, he did ask Muhammad Ali's permission. Oh, he's speaking. Yeah, I mean, what the fuck did you expect? He knew. He had to know. I mean, come on. Yeah, of course. Yes. Man's in the front's like, yeah! <laughs> now I gotta do this! <laughs> They're all over the place. Lonnie, Lonnie, I wanna thank you so much for this. This is beautiful. Uh, the, I, I, I just, I wanna say that um, y your husband, Mohammed, was one of my heroes. And when I was a kid, a lot of you guys might not know, but we spent time with uh, Mohammed and his family. My dad, the soul man, Rocky Johnson, he would, he was a boxer before he was a wrestler. He sparred with Ali, and Ali was one of my heroes. And as Lonnie had said, in 1998, your boy joined a faction called the Nation of Domination. And I would run around and not only run my mouth, but I would call myself the people's champion. And we were in Louisville, Kentucky, and the Ali family had come to watch our matches that night. I made sure to speak with them afterwards, and I said, please tell Muhammad, I, it's out of respect that I call myself the people's champion. I was getting booed in arenas across the country, and that's right. <laughs> and... I said to them, please tell Muhammad I mean that out of respect. And they, the Ali family said, Muhammad said he wants you to have the People's Champ title. And it meant, thank you, it meant so much to me. I have things to say, but I'm letting him finish because I see your comments and I'm, and I, this, I, I this you're title is beautiful. And I, I look, I, I'm a lucky SOB. I got a lot of nicknames. Uh, the most electrifying man in all of entertainment. The great one. The final boss. And for those of you who boo and sit there, shut your mouth and enjoy the ride that The Rock has taken you on. Oh, she knows. Yeah, he gave her a heads up. She knows what he's doing. She knows what's going on. She knows what's up. The... You guys don't know what you want to chant. I know there's a lot of stuff that you could chant here, 
Well, I just want to say, Lonnie, thank you. I am honored. And with all the nicknames that I'm lucky enough to have, the people's champion will always be the one that is closest to my heart. I love you, Philly. Thank you so much. So I saw a couple of you that were like, why are they making Muhammad Ali's induction about The Rock? Why are they making this about The Rock? Look, to me, that was tying in why Muhammad Ali is important to this business. Duh. Fucking shoulders hurt. That title did look good, though. I like it. I like that. I like it. They are family, though. Muhammad Ali is not. I don't believe that The Rock and Muhammad Ali are, are family. Like, not like like family. I mean, they might be like family, but. We do get more rock with Lilia Maiva. Yes. Not blood, but okay, okay. I, I'm feeling you. I'm feeling you. He's coming back up. Isn't he inducting his grandmother? Yes. Yes. Rock is not Muslim. Ali was. Yeah, he was just saying that, like, like that, that was like my boy. Whatever is good for business. The, 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 I feel like this was all great for business. This is all going very well. I am enjoying myself. I'm getting a little tired, but my shoulders, my shoulders hurt. My shoulders hurt. <laughs> and I still have to edit when this is over. Ah! Ah! WWE, like, can we make a replica and get it on the shop ASAP? Probably. Sometimes you just wish fans can separate the person from the character. The booing is just unnecessary. He knew. I mean, you knew. Am I going to watch Collision? No. Bro, it's 7 a.m. Can we speed this up, bro? It's midnight. A trend setting tag team in wrestling history. This duo exhilarated crowds every time they step between the ropes. Two time world tag team champions. Let's take Go, a look Jackie. back at our next inductees into the WWE Hall of Fame. Thanks, Liv. Hey, Mike, how are you? Hey, Hunter, how you doing, man? Good. Uh, is Barry with you? He is. Yeah, right here. Oh, hey, man. I want to talk to you about Hall of Fame. This year is a, uh, a big year. It's the 40th anniversary of WrestleMania, but you two were there to start it all. Okay. You two were there at the very first WrestleMania. We wouldn't be where we are today without you guys. And I'd like to tell you today that we are going to induct both of you into the WWE Hall of Fame in Philly. Thank you, Hunter. Thank you. The call every superstar dreams about. A pleasant surprise for brothers-in-law Mike Rotunda and Barry Windham, though their success was hardly shocking. Mike was an accomplished collegiate wrestler. Barry, the son of the famed Blackjack Mulligan. Together, they formed the U.S. Express, bursting onto the scene in the mid-80s. At that time, U.S. Express symbolized... Am I ready to cry? American spirit. More than anything else. Yeah, probably will. Their patriotic presentation made American fans Sorry that I couldn't watch the full Hall of Fame. I'm tired, man. It's okay. And no one questioned It's my job. I have to. <laughs> but I do want to. I'm fine. I'm still, I'm still doing okay. I don't, I don't want to edit after this, though. I will say that. And that's something that I don't think was highlighted as much on WWE television as it should have been at the time. The U.S. Express was on a fast track to start. Sam Pippen, thank you for the super and chat. Did you notice Cody and his wife not happy The Rock showed up tonight? Born in the USA. I'm a short fat guy yeah. from the USA, baby. Propelling them to yeah. their first tag team championship. Where's the line? What did you want them to do? Smile? Dominic Mysterio didn't even crack a smile when his own dad was inducted into the Hall of Fame. Ladies and gentlemen, Hello. welcome to WrestleMania. And who better to challenge the American ideals than Iranian Iron Sheik and Sheiky baby Soviet Nikolai Volkov? What a matchup this is going to be! Twenty-five thousand plus here in the garden, Chad in USA. Victory is the goal. 
but it was elusive for the U.S. Express. Oh, he nailed him with a cane. Madison Square Garden stunned here as Wyndham and Rotundo lose their titles. Still, they would not be denied. You mean to tell me Cody didn't do anything? Later, no. Wyndham and Rotunda reclaimed their place. Now that would probably teams. be for probably that would be an overstep, right? Oftentimes I feel like there's so many unsung heroes of professional wrestling. They helped form interrupting the, of the induction of time. Muhammad Ali. Like no, that, that I feel like that wouldn't be in good taste. Had to measure up to. What do you want him to do? Rotunda and I wouldn't necessarily to enjoy Well, here's the thing. Like with singles. with inducting Rotunda Ali. IRS. No, doesn't make sense. Chances. Now, Wyndham, Leah Maiva, NWA who is part of a, of a wrestling of family and understands professional wrestling, I think that's different. So is Grandma being on it, you know? Grandma would be hyping it up like, yes, this is, for, this is, this is what's best for business, do it. Does this get heat? Does this carry on the story? The do it. And this Someone that's in the business would get that. They still made such a get that more, you know? Impact, certainly worthy of the WWE Hall of Fame. So as we commemorate not highlighting an activist like Muhammad Ali, let's pay our respects to those who paved the way, welcoming the U.S. Express to the 2024 class of the WWE Hall of Fame. Please welcome Taylor and Micah Rotunda. Um. Just him as Michael Rotunda. Or is he? He's Michael. Taylor, his sister is Micah. Oh, I thought he said Michael. Yeah, I didn't know his, his actual name. Thank you. Okay, so the sister is Micah, and then he is Taylor. Got it. I haven't seen him in a while. I haven't watched the documentary yet. For anyone that hasn't asked me that or hasn't heard me say it. They look great. They look great. They look great. And fireflies. Ladies and gentlemen, esteemed guests, and fellow enthusiasts of the WWE Universe, tonight it is an honor that we gather in celebration not just of the incredible athleticism and the indomitable spirit that defines sports entertainment, but of a legacy that has left a mark on the heart and soul of sports entertainment. Before we formally introduce the inductees, or even ourselves, we would be remiss not to take a moment to acknowledge Wyndham Rotunda. Also known as Bray Wyatt. Should also be standing oh, on this stage with us no. tonight. He may not be on the stage, but we know he's here. Quite frankly, there would be no Wyndham Rotunda without Barry Wyndham and Mike Rotundo. My name is Taylor Rotunda, and this is my sister Micah. And we are here to honor a tag team that exemplifies teamwork, brotherhood, and has paved the way for so many. It is our profound honor I'm okay. to induct into the WWE Hall of Fame the legendary tag team known as the U.S. Express, Barry Windham and Mike Rotunda. Or as we like to also call them, Uncle Barry and Dad. The challengers from Sweetwater, Texas, weighing 240 pounds, Barry Windham. And from Syracuse, New York, at 238 pounds, Mike Rotunda. 40 years ago, 
A packed arena stood to their feet as Mike Rotundo and Barry Windham entered the ring. A team that was unparalleled, exuding charisma, athleticism, and had an unstoppable style all of their own. Dominating the roster as the WWE Tag Team Champions. But their legacy is not just to in the censor titles they the WWF. or the matches they performed, but in the countless wrestlers they inspired and the fans that they captivated over the years. Tonight, as we induct the U.S. Express into the WWE Hall of Fame, we are not just celebrating their past achievements. We're acknowledging their lasting impact on the world of professional wrestling. Trailblazers, whose bequest is a gift that will continue to give, inspire, and entertain for many generations to come. Dad, Uncle Barry, on behalf of your family, former colleagues, the WWE Universe around the world, thank you for the memories. Thank you. Your dedication and contribution to the history of professional wrestling has been immeasurable, and your induction into the WWE Hall of Fame is a testament to your enduring legacy. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in welcoming the U.S. Express, Barry Windham and Mike Rotunda into the WWE Hall of Fame! Good call and induct your dad. That was fun. Mm. <laughs> Do you see Mike Botticella's taxes are due next week? No, I, under I understand, like, I know why they're censoring WWF. I just, I thought that that was settled at some point. I guess not. I thought, I did. I thought that that got settled. I didn't time out anybody. Quit being crybabies. Thank you, Micah. Don't say mean shit. Taylor. We love Simple you. Um, we don't allow that here. Also, I'd like to start off by saying thank you to all the WWE universe around the world, especially here tonight in Philly. Without you guys, there is no us, and we're well aware of that. Philly is kind of an ironic and full circle city for myself. I came to Philly with my mom, my dad, my sister Ann. We loaded up in a fastback, Volkswagen fastback, when I was eight years old and competed at halftime of the Steelers and um, Eagles, Eagles game. And Ford punt, pass, and kick with probably 60,000 people at Franklin Field as an eight-year-old. Now, tonight, I'm coming back here and getting inducted with my brother-in-law uh, into the WWE Hall of Fame, so that's pretty full circle for me. <laughs> Barry grew up in the wrestling business, you know, with his dad being Black Jack Mulligan, and he, he's been around the business, world champion, and, and totally the opposite with myself. The only, I, I look at it like I, I would have never gotten to the wrestling business if not for Syracuse University. I played football and wrestled there, and the coach that recruited me, which Philly probably doesn't like, 
is a gentleman named Tom Coughlin who had a couple of Giants uh, Super Bowl teams. And it also led to me leading a gentleman by the name of Dick Byer, the Destroyer. He spoke at our wrestling banquet my last year there and asked me if I was interested in getting into pro wrestling. Long story short, I ended, ended up going to Germany with him and I wrestled there four months <clears throat> after I trained with him two, two weeks and he came back to the States. I stayed four months and wrestled every night as a 23 year old. Quite a difference from, uh, you know, training at Syracuse University. I'm in Germany for four months. So off of that, I went to the Carolinas for a year and a half and met so many Hall of Famers and got mentored by them. The list is too long. They're all in the Hall of Fame now. And that was a great learning experience. And Dusty Rhodes calls the Crockett promotion and says, I need a young baby face down here. So they sent me and Dusty Rhodes then teamed Barry and I up at that point. Yeah, well, he did. Dusty had his fingerprints on fucking so much. And that's when uh, my sister was staying with me down in Tampa, Florida at that time, and Mike came over, and <laughs> I think they had a moment there. <laughs> <laughs> but six months later, they were married, and... 40 years oh, they later. met through him because of him. <laughs> okay. Me out yet. Yeah. They weren't together before. So, another very exciting thing we got to do um, was be part of WrestleMania One, and that was nobody knew the outcome of the show, you know, because it was so new, going on pay-per-view live, all the celebrities involved. Very exciting time in the business. I was 26. Barry was 24. And we were we were just crazy as hell, to be honest with you. Time like, makes me emotional like more than anything. And play hard, um. and you know, first of all, I, I I was remiss in saying that I, 40 years of my wife has been I couldn't have ever married a better person. I, as a mother, as a wife, as a grandmother, as a businesswoman. Thank you, Steph. I love you. <laughs> So back to WrestleMania 1, we went in there and we should have got hazard pay as much as we worked with Sheik and Volkov. That was always <laughs> something. You never knew quite what was going to happen at any given time. Sheik yeah, every night it was different. We had almost the same match with them every night, but they managed to change it all up. Every <laughs> <laughs> but that was a great experience. And, and like I said, you turn around 40 years later and you see what WrestleMania has become. Yeah. It's, it's no just an amazing story. To be in the first one and be at no the Hall of Fame for the 40th. Told. And just, it just keeps going and going and going so and going. Crazy. It's amazing. And in closing, In closing, I know he's doing. I just, I would just like to say, I wish that our son Wyndham could have been here. He, he would have liked to see his old man go in the Hall of Fame. So, in honor of Wyndham, it's right down there. He has to show him yeah. where the flashlight is. Turn it on. In honor of Wyndham, please join us. Yep, that part got me. Uh, yep. <laughs> that was the one. I don't think I've cried like throughout the entire like the entirety of a Hall of Fame before. I think this might be the first time. But I will say 
I will say, I do think um, because of this last year, I think I've gotten more entangled in, um, uh, what's the word? Entangled in, I don't know if the word is deepened or like, entwined with like professional wrestling and the, and the you know just what it is and you know I wish I wish everyone I wish everyone could find a way to get like entangled like with it in this way because like being one of the people that's like on the internet and it's just like a fucking asshole like I just I can't I just can't imagine like rem- remember that like these are people yeah, invested is a good word. Um, invested is a good word. Um, but these people are real. Like, that's the thing. Like, remember, like, when you're talking shit about something that a wrestler did and you are criticizing them and calling them names and making fun of them and doing all of the kind of shit that you do, remember that every single one of them is a Wyndham Rotunda. Every single one of them is a fucking Wyndham Rotunda. And we all have an hourglass of how long we're going to be here. And we don't fucking know how long until that hourglass runs out. So when you talk shit in specific ways about actual human beings, remember that they can be gone fucking tomorrow. And then what are you going to say? You know, when you talk about anybody, think like that. Because it's fucking true. We're so detached. We're so detached from our own, like, mortality and our own humanity that we do shit like that. And then suddenly once they're gone, you know, like, anybody can be taken away just like that. Uh, I remember being petty because they all talked mad shit about Wyndham and said he should be fired and blah, blah, blah. And then we lost him and I was petty and angry and it hurt. And and it, it it applies to anybody that does literally anything. It applies to anybody that does anything. We are not guaranteed another day on this fucking planet. Do not be an asshole. Because I hope you can live with yourself. I hope, I hope people like that can live with themselves. And they probably can because those are the very deranged ones, you know. But if I can make one person just fucking realize, like, like, what the fuck? You're legit crying. The last part got me. The last part got me. Like I said, time and human connection is really what gets me. Um, you know, when it comes to that situation, I don't cry because, and we never trying to, uh, Bray Wyatt was, was not my favorite wrestler. He was never, he was never on my list of favorite wrestlers. I got back into wrestling fairly late, um, after the Wyatt family. So I had a lot to go back and look on, you know, he, he wasn't one of my favorites and I was very vocal and honest about that, but I don't cry because I lost my favorite wrestler. I don't cry because someone that I loved in the ring is gone. You know, it's it's not a me, me, me thing. It's not a, oh, he was my favorite wrestler. No, it's because he was a dad and he was a son and he was a human being and he had a lot of life left to live. And so those are the kinds of things that make me emotional. Not the fact that I lost my favorite wrestler. It's just the fact that humanity is really cruel. So, yeah. Anyway. What are we doing? Where's the new day doing? Oh, dog, we have one more. Da 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 da. Biggie. Oh, I like the suit. I like the color, the colors, and the color coordination. Am I streaming WrestleMania? What do you think? <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> I'm here until 12 19 watching the Hall of Fame. Do you think I'm going to stream WrestleMania? Yes! Let's go. Is he back then? I mean, he's just inducting people into the Hall of Fame, y'all. 
Well, the crowd, I mean, the crowd has been there a long time. You gotta remember that. It's been a long day. Yes, Thunderbolt Patterson and Rock's grandmother. Man. Hey. And they do look like Easter eggs. It looks nice, though. It's your boys, the New Day. It's good seeing them together. It has been a very long time since the three of us have been able to stand here together inside a WWE. Right. No kidding. Wow. But tonight, tonight you drunk. <laughs> is not about us. Oh, no. No. Tonight, we are here to commemorate a man whose charisma and oratory skills, I said charisma and oratory <laughs> skills, influenced a generation after generation after generation. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I miss you. Yes. Won't he do it? Yes. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, yeah, hey, yeah, hey. yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, are you all right, bro? I'm good, I'm good. Are you good? Dude, I, I, I'm, I'm doing too excited. much. Guys, he missed y'all so much. Right. I he did. did. He, he did. did. I'm, I'm doing too much. Yep, that's yeah. fine. Yep. My just, bad. My bad. I'll bring it, bring okay. it down. Just a little bit off the top. My fault. Yep. Hold and hold it is that very charisma mm. that endeared the people to Mr. Thunderbolt Patterson. That's why they loved him. So... Over the past few weeks, we've had the distinct opportunity and the pleasure of conversing with Mr. Patterson. And there was one thing that he told us that stood out. It was simple. It was three words. He said, I love people. Now, <laughs> and by unapologetically being this unorthodox version of himself, he helped so many people and he brought so many people together. He loved bringing people together. And he loved it so much that he pushed to organize workers to fight for equal and fair pay so that the future of professional wrestling would be so much better for every single one of us. Mm -hmm. And in the face of bigotry, the tireless work that Thunderbolt Patterson and men and women like him have committed, they are the reasons that we can stand up here as black performers and do what we love for a living. And to you, Thunderbolt Patterson. Solo, yeah, I see someone say saying solo in the front row. Solo hasn't moved. <laughs> he hasn't moved a lick this whole time. Because without the hard work of Thunderbolt Patterson, I never have the chance to become King of the Ring. Without the work of Thunderbolt Patterson, I am never WWE champion. Without the hard work of Thunderbolt Patterson, there is no Kofi Mania. Kofi Mania. What a time. What a time, what a time. So, without further ado, accompanied by Scott Spears, we introduce wait, to wait, you. Wait, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. We can't do it like that. Not like, can't that. Do it like that. We can't, we can't do it like that. Can't do it like no, that. we got to do it right. We got to do it like this. Oh, okay, okay. <clears throat> if you will. <clears throat> Is Thunderbolt Patterson. I don't know what to expect. She got his cowboy boots on and his hat. Oh my goodness gracious. You sweet man. He's like, bitch, I'm getting up. I gotta say hi. <laughs> Time is so mean. <sighs> oh, 
Gerald Briscoe. I didn't even realize that was Briscoe. Oh my god. I'm a pro wrestling streamer and content creator. I'm here every Monday and Friday watching Monday Night Raw, Friday Night Smackdown, and all major WWE PLEs. I am a pro wrestling fan. I like all pro wrestling. I watch all pro wrestling, but I am a busy bitch, and all I get the chance to stream and make stuff about is WWE, but I've been a fucking crying mess this whole night. You're gonna see boogers, and you're gonna see tears, and you're gonna see my eyes are red, and I'm just shiny, and just I'm just feeling a lot of emotions, and he made me I just have cried and everything. I've just cried. I've just continuously cried. Thank you so much for the raid. Give a shout out here. <laughs> DJ Anon's T. I don't even know if I'm saying that right. And I sure as shit didn't spell it right. There we go. There's a shout out there. Raymond Bro, also thank you for the resub. Happy 11 months. You just got to your hotel room after a long day in Philly, and you're at SmackDown. And you were at SmackDown. Love, thank you so much for being here. And I'm gonna keep my eye on you and my foot. Bad as he wanted to punch you in your community center. See if that chick is in the CE love story, not just say words. I could see bring you along for the ride, and he would draw you. Bruce Pritchard, I've been sitting at home and I've been watching the whole day. So, yeah, solo, like I said, solo ain't moved a lick. I am getting hungry again. This is a problem. Too many tears to see the rain. Yeah, I'm so sorry. I don't have um sounds on that. That makes a huge thing. And I was watching this and not preaching a sermon every time. I'm sorry. Never you thought Chelsea Green was a hot mess. You might have mastered the gimmick. That's honestly the highest of compliments. Is thunder. Highest of compliments. I'm a hot mess. Sure. Do, 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 do. A I will be cosplaying her Patterson. here in just a Now weeks. is the time to get funky. It's time. We get fucking. He was such a big influence on me. I was stealing from him and didn't We do still remember. have Rocky's grandma. Yes. From. Thunderbolt's 82. Okay. 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 I want you to call somebody. I think there's a lot of us in Thunderbolt Patterson, obviously. I so this it is a new day. Is literally new something day. Yes, that is. I this is a big point that I try to drive home all the time because this is a perfect example of it. The amount of people Patterson that Thunder that Thunderbolt Patterson influenced legacy lives on when people this day. on the internet do Any shit like talking about day. LA Knight. And how LA Knight is just a ripoff of The Rock and a ripoff of Stone Cold. Everyone is an inspiration of somebody else. Everyone borrows and pulls things from people that they inspire. Hi! the same city that he main evented in that same night. Bet you didn't know about this one. I don't think it will be guys like Booker. So we're gonna discredit the new day. We're gonna discredit all these other people that you know wrote people that pulled from other people. That I'm living. Guys, don't know anything. To this occasion. Thunderbolt, you better call somebody and let them know WWE is proud to welcome Claude Thunderbolt Patterson into the 2024 class of the WWE Hall of Fame. Oh, Lord, have mercy. privilege it is to be here tonight. So much passion, so much exhilaration because of the professional wrestling fan. And I'm a fan and it's a pleasure to be here tonight. Thunderbolt Patterson was one of the best talkers and in-ring performers to ever grace the squared circle. Thunderbolt Patterson said more by saying less than anybody in the history of professional wrestling. When Thunderbolt Patterson said, Ole Anderson, don't you move, that meant Ole Anderson was going to the hospital. 
when Thunderbolt Patterson said, with only a few minutes left in a live television broadcast, if I only had more time to tell you, that meant come to the arena, you're going to see something like you've never seen before. In my opinion, Thunderbolt Patterson is the Jackie Robinson of professional wrestling. He probably can't speak well anymore. Thunderbolt broke down barriers and paved Again. ways, as you've just heard these very talented gentlemen Time is a say, thief and as someone that used to that talk for a living, that other probably people didn't him. have to because he did. I talked with Booker T earlier. He says the same thing. So many echo that. And one of our other inductees tonight, the late, great Muhammad Ali, said something that I think is very apt. He said, hating people because of their color is wrong, and it doesn't matter which color does the hating, it's just plain wrong. <laughs> I asked uh, wrestling journalist Mike Mooneyham, who covered Thunderbolt's career on a scale of 1 to 10, where Thunderbolt ranks in the history of professional wrestling. He said, Thunderbolt is an 11. And just a quick story here before we get to the bolt about things he had to face. Years ago, the late 1960s, in Texas, he was wrestling in Amarillo. And word came, don't come to Amarillo. The sheriff's wife has been killed. Abilene, Texas. The sheriff's wife has Correcting been killed. Him. Don't bring Thunderbolt to Abilene. Dory Funk Jr., the promoter, said, I'm going to bring Thunderbolt, and a composite was drawn by the sheriff as the person of Thunderbolt who killed his wife. Thunderbolt went to Abilene, and it turned out that the sheriff had killed his own wife. What Those the, are the fuck? That Thunderbolt had to go through. What the fuck? He did it. He's back here tonight. And it's with great pride and That's privilege. crazy. Absolutely. Absolutely. That's fucking nuts, dude. Somebody once said that baseball was a better game because Jackie Robinson got to play. Well, I guarantee you, the sports entertainment industry, the professional wrestling industry, is better because Thunderbolt Patterson was and is in it. That's awesome. That's awesome. It is with great pride and privilege that I help induct this man who has not been on national television or in a professional wrestling ring in 31 years. That's Welcome back. Class of 2024 Hall of Famer, Thunderbolt Patterson. Fuck yeah, dude. Like. I must pray. Is that all right? Our Father in heaven, I, I come this evening as humble as I know how. I, I, I come. God damn it as an empty picture before a full fountain, knowing that you have all power to fulfill and supply all of my needs. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you.
I'm not religious either. <laughs> Heaven. That's not why I'm crying. Hi. I, 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 I said heaven high, giving God all of the honor and all of the glory. God, am I going to post it anything? It had not <laughs> been for the Lord. Mm, Y'all don't hear me on my side. Put me in the path of good people. Just hold on just a minute. Hold on just a minute. All over this world, they meet. And they greet, and they say, the hell no. No, and everybody in here, man. Hear me now. Everybody in here got a little more education than me. All these people I are not crying, and I'm just like a mess. That's what you say. And what you think come back to you. The devil do not need no kind of help at all. Can I get an amen? Yeah. All right, then. I don't have to stand up here and tell you because you've seen everything. From the beginning of time, it's been a spiritual warfare. A spiritual warfare. Mmm. Mmm. You hear me? Yeah, I'm crazy. You had that I'm crazy. For the Lord. I'm a mess. I'm just a hot mess. And just a few good, good. <sighs> Good people. I would not be standing here tonight. Y'all have heard and seen everything. It's all on the TV, it's all everywhere. You know, just every everybody know the same thing. Everybody that heard and seen the same thing. Lying, hating, killing, yeah. <clears throat> it's time, it's time to stop playing the race car, the race car. It's time to stop killing people. It's time to treat people the way you want to be treated. Huh? Now, 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 now. I'm not going to take up no more of your time because it's almost the six. It's, 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 it's almost the six. This ain't the fifth almost. What time is it out there? You hear me? <laughs> I don't want to hold y'all too long. But I just want to say something to you. If it had not been for the Lord, I'm here for a purpose. I was chosen for this moment. I was chosen by our Father in heaven to do his will. Not always. Now, I want to take this time here to just think, think, think. I want all, and I want y'all to think about all the things that I didn't say, because I want the Lord to touch your mind, not only just touch your mind, 
I want him to spiritually renew your mind so you can have clear and full understanding and the truth. But I want to take this time right here now to say to everybody that if it had not been for Gerald Briscoe, that makes sense. Huh? Gerald Briscoe. Gerald Briscoe. Bridget. Mr. Bridget. Y'all hear me? And, and, and Brian Blair. I would not be, and just like he, did, he, he said a while ago, Mike Moon and him kept me alive. Kept me alive. And my other friend that we had a long, long talk. That was, was that yesterday, my friend? Or was that today? I mean, I'm talking about going way back. I came over there. I come over to y'all's hometown years ago. If it had not been for the Lord and good people. So, WWE. WWE. You hear me? W-W-E. We talking, we talking, you know they done told you it's entertainment. But it's all about wrestling and bad, real bad people. Talk to me, man, don't you know? You know what I'm talking about. God is good. And if it had not been for the Lord on my side and good people in my path, I would not be here. We must, we must, we must <laughs> come together. Did we give him a, like a wrap it up screen? Because I feel like he might go forever. <laughs> Stop playing the race card. Y'all hear me? You uh. hear me? I say, do you hear me? Huh? So, uh, Andy Lindsay, you have to also remember the, the time that he comes from. And I wish I had just a They didn't let you know who they were. But it's the sixth, it ain't the fifth no more. He's you in this is the almost sixties. Keeping y'all a little bit too long. I mean, We've been go home now. He's way before anybody else that has spoken on this show. See you a little bit later um, over here. Love you all and thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. He ain't going to 100% let you know be good. Be good who he is. But. Oh, it's need to get Thunderbolt Patterson. I'm a fucking wreck. I'm a fucking wreck. And I hate that I might be the only one that had this reaction to everything. I can look. Because I keep res I keep refreshing the screen of like Twitch so I can see like the other people on and every everyone just looks really tired. The road to oh WrestleMania. God, why did I cry? But this year, um, well, multiple reasons. Uh, the main reason I think I cried when it comes to Thunderbolt Patterson is Thunderbolt Patterson is apparently 83 years old. The minute that he started talking, he hasn't been in a wrestling ring in 31 years. He slipped right back into the mode, you know, um, a lot of the time we are, we are a lot of the time. We are always who we are. It's our bodies that fail us. And, uh, some of us it's both you know some of it's our bodies and our minds but for someone like that when it's just your body that's failing you and you are still fucking thunderbolt patterson and able to slip into um speaking like that and he was definitely speaking you know if you listen to the promo package that they did you know it, you know 
letting people know who he was, you could hear, I mean, he's, he was talking, like someone was trying to explain it to me, like, well, that's how he talked in his promos. I'm like, exactly. That's why I was getting emotional. That's why I was getting emotional because I just saw videos of him from fucking 50 years ago and he was just talking the same way. Like I told you, I've said multiple times, time is time is a very sensitive emotional thing for me. It's been a, a point of anxiety forever. Our final inductee laid the foundation I've come more to of terms the legendary Anawaii family. And broke barriers as oh, shit, the I'm still recording. Oh, no. wrestling history. I'm Matt Ayers. Thank you for the reset. Happy format subversary. There's no need to justify Peter your emotions. You see how much getting well, I just like to talk about it. Let's take a look at the trailblazing career of this absolutely legendary matriarch. Okay, we're at the tail end, though, guys. We're at the tail end. Diamond Head, my sister, used to live right I dream here, there. about you every night and every day. And when you are near me, all my troubles would fly away. Oh, Grandma. Will we not again one day? You know what? It didn't process to me that she has passed. Wife of High Chief Peter Mylia. Mother of Atta Johnson. Grandmother of Dwayne the Rock Johnson. Great grandmother to Simone Ava Johnson. Jasmine Leah Johnson. And Tiana uh, my grandma Gia was my Johnson. favorite person in the world, so just bear, bear with and me again. We might just fucking cry at this whole Kenny, thank you for the super jet. Damn, history. Pops hit my soul with the inspirational church sermon, but good look at Thunderbolt. We needed that. My that was great. My grandmother was a I pioneer in our business of professional wrestling. <sighs> she took over my grandfather's wrestling company here in Hawaii, and she made a promise to my grandfather when he was dying on his deathbed, and she says, I'm going to take over the company, <sighs> and I'm like going him. to make your dream come true, that it's going to be a success. Lea Maivia would keep that promise as Polynesian Pacific Pro Wrestling. Oh no, I'm the person that the in Moana, every time the fucking grandma passes away and then she's a stingray swimming underneath Moana on the fucking boat. From all over the world just die. To be in this great cast. So the biggest part ever here in Honolulu. Lea Maivia has done it again. The event was a resounding success. <sighs> Featuring some of the most prominent WWE Ooh. Hall of Famers. Leah Mavia's A Hot Summer Night was Hawaii's highest attended and highest grossing event during the 1980s wrestling boom. All of us humans are not so different. We just you know, what my tend to be assholes, you know? He's more than a husband to me, he is my heart. The fans are behind you, and Peter has never left us. He's by your side all the time, darling. Despite her enormous success, we had a Grandma's Unite Leah chat where we just talk about our grandmas. Be inducted fun, actually. by the federal government over extortion funny, disputes the from a rival Hawaiian promotion. However, Leah never wavered and was acquitted on all do, do, charges, do, 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 setting a precedent for the strength together. and resolve that her if entire bloodline continues to exude <laughs> today. Leah oh, my grandma's literally on my arm. BT dubs. But viewers can still enjoy her <laughs> I have her name on my arm. Infectious personality mm. on the flowers of the name she used to With call yours me. truly, given oh, yeah. the honor of playing Leah. Ah, we're going to be family, fine. We stand up for uh, ourselves. Isn't that right? Definitely. That's right. Thank you, Mom. You'll be so proud, Peter. Leah. In 2008, Leah's husband, High Chief Peter Maivia, received the ultimate honor induction into the WWE Hall of Fame. The great High Chief Peter Maivia, he was a warrior who loved this business, Look at the loved hair. his family even more. <laughs> the hair. Grandpa, I hope oh. I've made you proud. No. Because I sure am. What a legend. Look so at her. Proud of you. Dad, take your final bow. You are my champion. I love you. Leah's unforgettable qualities continue Sorry, I'm to doing be this to you guys. <laughs> to this day, and now are forever enshrined. 
taking her rightful place alongside her husband Peter in the 2024 class of the I don't think I've cried this much on stream like ever gentlemen here to induct his grandmother the final boss Dwayne the Rock Did you really? Johnson You're gonna put a mask God Grandma would be so fucking proud of it though it's Grandma's like fuck yeah you go out there and you make them boo, baby. You piss them off. Make them hate ya. She would have understood. She got it. She lived it. Ah. Crispy. She'd fucking love it. You damn right she would. He's gonna cry. He's gonna cry. And then I'm gonna cry more. He's already crying, I think. <laughs> it's alright. We're fine. <laughs> Y'all are all over the place. Yeah, I know. I, I know. I know. You can do it. Thank you. You can do it. You can do it. You can do it. How long has she been gone? <laughs> Thank you. Um... Oh, I know I'm a whole different person. I'm in my Thank feelings. You. I'm Alexis uh, right I, now. I, Hi. <laughs> before I get into this and before I get everybody home, Cause we got a big weekend this weekend. Oh shit, man! Y'all are going till 1 a.m. and you gotta work tomorrow. Want to say congratulations to all of the class of 2024 Hall of Fame inductees. Congratulations to everybody. For sure, for sure, for sure. My grandmother, Leah Maivia, as you guys saw in the piece, she was a real trailblazer in our world of professional wrestling and what my grandmother was able to do at a time when it was male dominated and it was shark infested waters absolutely uh, she was really able to change the game and open up the doors for not only so many wrestlers but also so many women in wrestling too as well My grandmother, when my grandfather, the high chief Peter Maivia, also a Hall of Fame member, as he was passing away, it would thank you very much. As he, the high chief, that's right, as he was passing away, it was his dream that the promotion they were promoting, Polynesian Pro Wrestling in Hawaii, where I grew up, uh, it was his dream to make that promotion a success. My grandmother gave her word to him. I will do everything I can to carry on this promotion and carry on your name. My grandmother went on and she promoted really incredible events in, in, in the state of Hawaii. And what she did, she was able to, for the first time, especially at that time, if you think about it, in the early 80s, uh, there was a lot of competition. There was a lot of different promotions, as you guys know, but from Vern Gagne to Jim Crockett to Fritz Von Erich to Vince McMahon, they would all send, they would all, they would all send. That was a big risk, man. They would all send their talent to my grandmother. And she had the biggest stars in the world would come to Hawaii, from Andre the Giant, to Ric Flair, to the Von Erics. Woo! To the Von Erics, to the fabulous Freebirds, Nikita Koloff, Ivan Koloff. Bob Backlund, and um, all of those stars, including one of my heroes, 
dusty roads. So I just want to take a moment because this is a big weekend. And when it comes to the Rhodes family, what are we doing? 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 What's going on? When it comes to the Rhodes family, as you know, I have nothing but reverence and respect for Dusty Rhodes, who was one of my heroes, to Mama Rhodes. <laughs> but when it comes to what we're gonna do this weekend in less than 24 hours, I do want you to know that what happens between you and The Rock and Seth frickin' Rollins and Roman Reigns, it's not business. It's personal. Oh, oh, what? I'll see you tomorrow night. Who the hell told you? Brandy, get your ass up there. <laughs> on behalf of the Johnson family, on behalf of our Maivia family, as my mom is sitting front row, Atta Johnson. Mom, would you stand up, please? Stand up. She's like, wait, me? You look Ladies great, girly pop. The real, the real final boss of the family, Atta Maivia Johnson. <laughs> she, she said. who has expressed to me over the past eight weeks that she would love to lay the smack down on your candy ass. But I told her, Mom, it's okay. I think I'm gonna get this thing this weekend. On behalf Why of us- Why are we zooming on Naya? Because that's her aunt. And to the wrestling world, I thank you. I love you. Grandma, thank you so much for all you've done. Have a good night. Thank you. And let's get ready for WrestleMania. Let's get ready to send it. That was good. Let's get ready to send it off. Oh, you don't like the ending. Okay. Okay, okay. Jay, Jay, this. Wearing a fucking Michigan hat. God damn it. Shut the fuck up, Carl. <sighs> I'm back. <laughs> she's here. She's here. I promise. I'm. So, I'm she's here. <laughs> Woo! The the getting into the the wrestling part that got me. Okay. We're, I'm no we're stranger to. Ooh, hoo, hoo, man. Okay, kids. Wow. That was a long, long night. When did we start? Like eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. One. That's a five-hour stream. Holy shit. I cried so much, you guys. I cried so much. We have a really big day tomorrow. Um, we have such a big day tomorrow. Um, I'm pretty sure that all of us are going to be going to bed. So I'm, I don't think I'm going to raid anybody. Um, I think we're just going to call it a night and we will be back tomorrow. I do not currently plan on streaming stand and deliver. Um, I would like to get some stuff done. I, I don't know. Because it starts at like 11, doesn't it? I don't I don't know if I can do it. Put your notifications on if you get one. I'll be here. If you don't, I'll see you later. All right. I'll do what I can. I'll do what I can. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta get some editing done. Um, all right. Take care, everybody. Thank you for hanging out. We will see you tomorrow.